All right, question number one. Where yeah. would you have a lobotomy? Chelmsford. Chris? Uh, in the head. Dom? Head brain. Carrie? Uh, Dom, you wrote head, I wrote brain. Yeah, Dave? Head. Well, it's head in your head. Yeah, where? On, on your head. Dave? Head. Aled? Head. The correct answer on the... Oh, sheet is the brain. Well, yeah. no, well, no, 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 no. The brain we is in the head. We haven't got time to argue. Yeah. We've got the right, news Well, give us head then. Oh, no, no. Give us head. <laughs> give us... Give... <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> You've got to put brain down. Give me a point for <laughs> saying head. No, no. There's the trail. Please. <laughs> oh. I'm begging you. Move on, move on, move on. <laughs> we haven't played the, you know, no, we're not we haven't going played, no. we haven't, <laughs> if there's silence, right, for whatever reason, the emergency tape kicks in, but, um, and nobody at Radio 1 is exactly sure how many seconds it kicks in, because it seems to change. So every time I, I switch all the microphones off and leave a big pause, Rachel starts really panicking. Because <gasps> if the emergency tape kicks in, it does it from Broadcasting House, and it automatically then shuts down Radio 1. And to get it back is a major mm. pain in the arse. You've got to ring control, you've got to get the engineers, then they wire all through, they plug in, and it takes about it, it, minimum five minutes. We've done it uh, several times, actually, haven't we, by accident. OK, uh, mm. let's do it. And the first person to bottle has to make a noise. I right? think, can I just say that I think it's 15 seconds. I it was 14. Really? Well, let's do let's do 11 and see how uncomfortable you feel at 11. Okay. Okay, yeah. starting now. Okay. <laughs> I tell you what, we just about grazed the 15 there. Oh. What happens is a Radio 1 jingle will start and then a record will play and that's it. Then we're off the air. Is well, it the same one? Still on the air, we're off the air. I don't yeah. know. Who knows? We could yeah. find out. No. I don't know anymore. Let's get out. Sorry. <laughs> it's it is a good exciting. game, isn't it? It's, it's like a, I like it's it. It's like yeah. a game of dare. <laughs> Who's going to go for the next one? Are we actually listening off the air, or are we actually listening to desk? No, yeah, we could be we talking to ourselves, yeah. couldn't we? Yeah. yeah, we are definitely on air, are we? Yeah, China Black's already playing to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. One more time? OK, one more. Uh, one start more. clock clock time and of 35. Digital FM online. Are you joking? Oh, <laughs> oh Rachel. Rachel, you went, you went white. Oh. You did go white. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, let's get on with it. <laughs> Oh, oh, Rambo, Do you know yes. what? I was feeling really tired. That's woken me up now. Thousands of screaming, f screaming fans lined London's Leicester Square last night for the premiere of Orlando Bloom's new movie. It's called... Are you, what are you doing? Will you stop doing that? I'm not that? pressing anything. It's you. It's not me. Stop it. I can't do stop that if I wanted it. to. Stop it. It's called Kingdom of Heaven. He plays a knight during the 12th century crusades. Apologies. That was strange, wasn't Checking it? Checking the level for Coldplay. I think I can't hear it. Can't hear it. Can't, but everybody else could. It should have been the other way around. Only I could have heard it. Um, so, sorry about that. It's time for Car Park Catch Me, and here's your host, Chris Moyles. Please welcome on line one, it's contestant number one. Contestant number one, what's your name and where do you come from? Hi Chris, my name's Calvin and I'm from Newton Abbott. Yay! I've got a story about that place. What's that then, Roy? But that's for another time. Right, OK. <laughs> you, you sound a little bit keen, Calvin. I am, I'm very eager. Yeah. You sound just like Alid, actually. Actually, no, I'm well, so that's probably why. Oh, OK. No, you do, you sound very similar. Yeah, same crowd, Alid. <laughs> is, is he one of your lot? Where from Wales are you from? I'm from Halford West. Oh, it's close it's enough. Yeah, Halford it's not too far. Is that a village? It's a small town. Right. Okay. Kelvin. So, then you let, yeah. Can you just say hello, uh, Radio One? Are you phoning for car park catchphrase? Because that's what Al says in the morning. Hello, Radio One. I'm phoning for car park catchphrase. His, it, it's, it's, it's uncanny. His intonation is the same as Alice. Yeah, are yeah. you all wrong? <laughs> <laughs> he emphasises on the wrong words. Did you do that? Do I? Don't you? 
Do I? Yeah, you do. Sometimes I've heard you do that, Al. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wrong emphasis. But he, doesn't, word. but he doesn't do it all the time. No, that's, that is right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I call him Alad 2 instead no. of Kelvin? No. <laughs> Alad 2. Right, lovely. Are you ready to play? I am ready, yes. He's like talking to Alan, Just isn't like Al, yeah. Just like Alan. Are, are, are you married, Kelvin? I'm not married, no. No, I wouldn't. I don't sorry. hear it. What? I don't hear it. You don't hear no. it? No. Well, you wouldn't, would you? I'll listen back to the tapes. Oh, OK, no. you do that. Let's play yeah. Car Park Catchphrase. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. It's Stephen versus Alan 2. <laughs> Car park catchphrase. I don't sound anything like I led. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fish is out with his good friend, Yvette Fielding, who we met years ago and they both worked on Blue Peter. They're in an old pub near Yvette's house, which is famous for being haunted. Yvette looks a bit nervous and jumpy, and Mr. Fish is just checking what's wrong. But do you know what, Stephen? What? Yvette's saying she could hear someone talking in her ear. She says, I can definitely hear him talk in my ear, and it sounds like it's the devil. You can hear the talk. Yes, Calvin Allen, too? That was me. It's Steven. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, Calvin. Oh. You, you can... on my shoulder? No, no, shut up. You can hear the devil talking. What can, what can she hear? She can you hear... You can hear the, the devil talking. Right, no, yeah, but, but she, you know, but if it's, it, it's the what of the devil. It's, it's, um, um... I don't know. The devil's talking. Oh, he's just, he, he's just like, shut up, Stephen. He is just like Alan, isn't he? Come on. <laughs> if if the devil's talking, what can she hear? The what of the, the devil? The ways of the devil. No, Jesus. <laughs> the the no, devil. no, no. <laughs> if she can hear the devil talk, what can she hear? She can hear the devil. No. The, the devil talk. No, there's no something the other way around. The, the other way around. Come on. The talk of the devil. You're yeah. right. Oh, he just beat you there, Stephen. Yeah, just just in, I know. Just that, yeah. in, you know, obviously, you know. Got to be a bit quicker. See, you're, all, you're obviously scared by the haunt, hauntedness of that one, you know. So yeah, you, I... Put it, <laughs> the back of the car, actually. Imagine they put the willies up you and, uh, <laughs> Not talking to you, Kelvin. Right, so, it's one apiece, it's all to play for. Let's have another car park catchphrase. I'm so bloody excited, I might actually win it. <laughs> have you ever met Alan, by the way, Kelvin? No, but I'd very much like to. I he bet you would. Sure. Yeah. I'll see if I can sort it out for you. Alan? No, that's right. Imagine it'd be like going out with yourself. God, you'd love, <laughs> you'd love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> What's you going out for a drink with yourself? <laughs> you'd love it! It'd be like a mirror. Hey! And let's be honest, you've sat in front of the mirror before having conversations. I love you, Alan. I do too. <laughs> Alan, just say, just say anything for me. Say a statement. My name is Alan. Right, Kelvin, say that. My name is Alan. Oh, that's oh, silly. Uh, scary. <laughs> can you can you just say for me, Calvin? Um, yeah. I don't want to do the treadmill gag. I don't understand <laughs> it. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. Don't that's it. I don't want to do the treadmill gag. I don't understand it, and it's not funny. Oh, oh my God! Major you deja vu. A wobbler. <laughs> oh, Calvin. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you, Chris. No. Join us same time next time when we'll be playing another game of Car Park Catchphrase on Radio 1. <laughs> Say goodbye, Mr. Fish. He's waving. I don't like smoozers. I don't like boozers. I don't like cruisers. And I don't like twosers. I don't like woozers. I don't like zoozers. That is not even a word. Yeah. I don't like pusers. I don't like cruisers. I don't like kiss asses, wiss asses, niss asses, or tis tashes. I don't like any of them. And I've got to say, Rachel, I'm dyslexic. I'm <laughs> Dave, could you still hear me outside on the seafront near Sunderland? Yes, sir. Yes, I can. I'm sat, I'm, 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 I'm sat, I'm sat here with a very unhappy producer who's oh, going... not for the first time, I'm sure. How, how round! How <laughs> round! <laughs> What's he saying? Cheer it up a car, cheer him! Shut up! Big fat chicken! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you if you do see uh, Rachel, by the way, if you're a passenger in a car and only a passenger, please feel free to stay, to yell out the window. Oh, Rachel! She'll love that. You know, yesterday, Chris, I signed a lot of autographs saying "Umbongo." Really, good girl. Yeah. Oh, she did. Yes, I saw her. That's that's Rachel's uh, uh, drink sorted out for the next six months. Mm. Other, other, other drinks uh, conceived in the Congo are available, of course. <laughs> Rachel's corporate sponsorship deal. Yeah. 
I, I didn't tell you before, by the way. I stood here outside on the uh, on the front, and I was going to say, it's a shame there's not anywhere to sit down, really. There's no benches or anything. And I look, look out the window now, right, honestly. And turn around behind you, look yeah. out the window. <laughs> I felt to spot approximately, I don't know, three to four hundred benches all the way <laughs> along here, of which I've sat on one of them. Nice. Do you like that? I like but you look great. Thank you. Can you see me? I can see you. Hello. You look resplendent. You coming out again? You coming out again? What am I doing? Right, you hey, listen, I've got rock in my pocket as well. Sorry? Sorry, Dave. What a lovely image everybody's got first thing in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Right, it's uh, it's Tuesday the 23rd of May. Let's go with a bit of snib done next. Uh, Gareth, well done, hey, Chris. What? Oh, oh, he put the phone down. Bring him back. Quickly, bring him back. Is he back? Gareth, you back? Yes, I'm on the way again. Bye. No, hang on. Oh, he's away again. Can you believe that? Get him back again. Get him back. Do you know what I mean? Is he back on? Gareth. Okay, I'll let you get better this time, Chris. Go ahead. Right, that'll do. Thank you very much, Roy. Thank you, Chris. Join us same time next time when we'll be playing another game of Car Park Catchphrase on Radio 1. Say goodbye, Mr. Fish. He's waving. So, Big Brother, then. Get me. You know what I'm saying? Get me. You know what I'm saying? From the ghetto. Yeah, Leeds. Yeah, morning on. Get me lemon curd. Oh my god, didn't he? Why well, is that Connie Rabbit mm. slag? For him. Yeah. He's a right lemon curd. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite bit, and I know many people worked this out, was, uh, was on Friday night when everybody went into the house. Yeah, I know where you're from. Where yeah. are you from? I'm from London. You ain't from London, is it? Turn it out, turn it out, caught it out the arms and pears. He's no from no place in London I've ever known. Almost sworn in. Got to be careful, Chris. Should have scripted it, but I didn't. Hey, uh, you know Rise. I just find it very funny when um, Maxwell, company man, he goes to the house. What's your name? Derek. Hi, right, Del Boy, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, that's no, Derek doesn't like being called Del. I'm getting the impression. <laughs> hey, excuse me, are you deaf? <laughs> Listen, you cockney urchin. My name is Derek, not Del, not Del Boy, not Rodders, Derek. Do you like my, my dressing gown? I know, that's all he I'm wears. Like, I'm like a refresher. Do you know those sweets? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a refresher. Oh, yes. Which river flows into the sea at Plymouth? Dave. Well, I put the, the river Plym. Chris. All well. <laughs> that's in Ipswich. I know. <laughs> I realise that now. Well, the answer on the sheet is the River Plym. But people Yay. are saying Tamar goes in there. A lot of people are there. saying Tamar. Yeah, but the answer on the sheet... Is the River Plym, so oh. that's what you get your point for. I think the River Plym does go, might go into the Tamar, because I used to play at Plym Bridge, which is part of it. Yeah. That's a nice that's story. Nice. Yeah. I love that, I like that. We should put that as a trail. Can we have another story about that? <laughs> <laughs> it's slightly... You were slightly off mic, though, yeah. Carrie. Do you want to well, say Wake it up with Chris Miles. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I think was, I think that river just flows to the other one. Back tomorrow morning at seven. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of games as well, Darren Brown's doing. Uh, he's on in London. He is quite fancy seeing that. He was on with J.K. and Joel on Sunday. Yeah, doing what? Um, he was well. He was trying to control. He was doing one of his control mind tricks with J.K. Oh God. And, Good luck. And he was ba well. He was basically just talking about his career and and talking about the new show. And stuff like that, and then didn't but did he, did he do any drawn animal stuff? No, he did this. Um, he did a thing where he was asking J.K. to think of a number on a blackboard at school. Six, sixty-one, I think was the number. But yeah, it did involve a six. Wow, see, that's brilliant. Yeah. See, I've got it. Anyway, he got it right because because Darren Brown had written on the number on a piece of paper. Sixty-one. I think it was sixty-one. Yeah, I was I was cooking at the time. I was only half listening. You're all allowed to play. You have to shout out your name when you think you know what it is. Uh, and then I'll come to you, okay? Mm -hmm. A dance beat, and then it mixes into a modern day version of a, of a, a classic tune. <laughs> Feel free to jump in anytime, can be anything. Sound like anything I recognise. Okay. 
Somebody thought I was going to play Christopher Cross, Ride Like the Wind. The dance mixer. No, no, nothing. No. East Side Beat, that wasn't it? That was, yeah. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Before it gets really easy, you lose all the points then. Ten seconds. Come on. It's Nothing. not really much to go on, is it? Just that. I'll, I'll give that it right. Do you want to make it a bit easier for you? All right, here we go then. Dave. Yes, Dave? God. Never ending story. <laughs> Correct. Ah. Why why have they done that? Ah. I always hated this song. Ah. I hated this song. I as hated well. this song when I was a kid. Your phone number ends with 9684. You're right. <laughs> well done, you win this. No, you don't really. It's horrible, isn't it? It really oh, is. It's great. I bet Lamar loves it. Was it Giorgio Moroder as well and, and Lump? No, George Rodeo and Philip Pokey did together oh, in Electric Dreams. Dreams, didn't they? That's a good song. This is never ending story. This has got dance anthems written all mm. over it, isn't it? It really has. It's rubbish, isn't it? It's nicely produced. I just don't like the subject material. Exactly, yes. Yeah, Recently produced. I like it, it's alright. Fair line of vinyl. Tune. So we got a shout and then blow an irritatingly loud whistle. Oi, oi. Savaloy. Come on now. This is for you, Alex. Sir, Somebody's texting saying, oh man, this is the. T-I-T-S, and then followed by the word mega. <laughs> it's a text from the 80s. <laughs> David Sandhamson says, I love the never-ending story. You know that big dog in the video? Yeah, that was a weird video, Huge isn't it? big dog yeah. thing. It looked a bit like... Um, Digby. Yeah, the world's biggest dog. Mm. I managed to avoid the movie, I must admit. Oh, the movie's wonderful. The movie's lovely. Wonderful. Oh, it's great. Loser. Does, does it ever end? Loser. Never read the story. Brilliant. And Phoebe, by the way, I'm very impressed, but I also feel a bit ashamed. I forgot to bring in my XLF uh, remix today of, uh, of Ski Low. Oh, you said that was good, didn't you? Yeah, I was going to bring it in. Sorry. Forgot. I'm bored of this now. It's in the cut, are you? Mm. Oh. OK, there you go. Brilliant. Anyway, so uh, I'm sure TV uh, radio company executives will be uh, rushing to sign that one up, and uh, as soon as it comes out, we'll let you know. She started giving it the big I am, Charlie Big Potato, giving it all the lemon. Yeah, welcome back to the home of the hot hits. This is Radio 1, your hot, rocking radio station. That's right. Mm hmm Air-conditioned for the coolest sounds in town, I once heard a DJ sound radio. Judge Jules. <laughs> no. It's Joe Wiley. Was it? Yeah. Who'd have thought? Uh, Air-conditioned for the coolest sounds in town. That's right. Crank it up. Let's go! Thirty-five now. That's brilliant. Thank you very much, Dominic Byrne. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> lovely. Beep, beep. Sing it, Dominic. Sing. Beep beep. No, this. No, it's awful. Turn around, ready? Two, three, four. It's look around, isn't it? 
No, it's turn around. Turn around. It's turn around, look at what you see. It's turn around, bright eyes, look around in this. It's not look around, look at what you see, is it? Touch the ground, he's saying, isn't he? Let me find out the lyrics. Sounds like touch the ground to me. How do you spell Lamal? M I L L I M A H L. Sounds like a parcel deliverer. Dave's a big fan. It's got an H to his brain. No, I can just spell. <laughs> It's always good not, It's just not growing on you yet. No, it's no. rubbish. Really? Mm. Carrie's liking it. I can tell. It's true. Tell the truth. You like it now, don't you? It's only because I like the film. Right, OK. It's yeah. wonderful. By a massive dog, apparently. I'm going to oh, come over there and slap it. you in a minute, Dave. Oh, let's look at, let, let's look at the lyrics. Yeah. Turn around. Look at what you see. Does it sound like Thank turn you. around? Good night. God bless. Sit and swivel. Touch the ground. Death, Dream though. a dream, and what you'll see will be. Mm. That's rubbish, for not Anyway. This is DJ Sammy. Oh, you're joking. You not heard this yet? No. It's genius. I have a story about it, but I'll tell you off the air. Well, I've been so for saying, oh, an awful version of Annie Lennox last night. My DJ Sammy is a bloke, but mm. I've got to say, this record is dreadful. It is, though, isn't it? I like it. Sophie said to me last night, she went, Oh, my God, you hear that awful record Scott Mills played, the Annie Lennox thing? Didn't Scott play Annie Lennox last night? Oh, it was like a, an awful dance mix of, of an Annie Lennox song. I didn't know it was this. This makes Never Ending Story sound genius. They'll all be raving to that in Ibiza this summer. You watch. Well, I'll be leaving a beater hey. when they play that. Hello, no sounds of basement jacks there. You don't know me on Radio Two. Well, Terry Wogan, how time to go? So, coming up next, the Ken Bruce of Radio One. Joe Wiley here. Don't know how the facial hair, but all nonetheless, all good music to take you through through the day. And how the old Ken Bruce is here. How oh, Ken? Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, no. I said, no, no. Sarah Kennedy, come by. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> and, of course, the old Reverend Allard would do today thought of the day. Hello. And there you go. More of a word than a thought. So, thanks for listening. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, old Rachel and Bongo. Then we make an appearance today at the Umbongo factory in Chelmsford. Pop down and say hello. Free goodies. And you'll just have a photograph taken with the hippo. <laughs> from the um Oi! from the umbongo ads, <laughs> from the umbongo ads. That's Rachel, of course. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sorry, I had a bit of a moment there when I just kind of drifted off into the text messages and thought, why is the DJ not so... Oh, it's me. <laughs> right, so let me play this then. Um, the ride, I can't remember the name of the ride, but you sit in a, like, a, you sit on chairs in like a square shape. Was I on this or not? No, you and I stood and watched. And, and it, uh, it pulls you all the way up uh, into the air. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it was called, um... Detonator. Detonator, right. that was it. And it holds you there for about ten seconds, something, and then it just drops. <laughs> well, you just go straight down, and that's it. That's the ride. Dave and I went, we'll, 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 we'll mind the bags, and we'll watch everybody else. So Alan went on there, and we gave him a tape machine, and he sat uh, with Rachel and Carrie, and, uh, he recorded it. We'd like to hear it, it's very funny. Mm -hmm. This is Alan on the ride yesterday at the theme park. Now, this is pretty much... 
Well, they're, they're going up, they're at the top and they're waiting to go down. It's the drop, which is great. Oh, God. <laughs> now, before I play this, I'd like to say to any parents who, who... Any parents who have the radio on and you're not listening, OK? This is not porn, OK? This is Alad and Carrie nervous, OK? This is not porn. This is them nervous. Nothing, this, no, there's nothing sexual at all, but there's Alad and Carrie strapped into a chair together. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. I don't like this. Oh. Oh. Five, four, oh. three, two, two, one. <laughs> Explosion. Good. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. I mean, granted, it does sound the same. Yeah. 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 So thanks to everyone who looked after us yesterday at the theme park. We had a very, very fun day yesterday. Jo just playing with her hair there at the studio, getting ready for this morning's live broadcast from Studio One. Have a great show, Joe. Brown. Right, where about tomorrow? Unless I've got a cold. Goodbye. <laughs> Six pips, remember, Joe? Don't be too soon, love. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Give me the long pip, go on. <laughs> Right, Joe Wallace, next have a wonderful day. Goodbye! Six pips, Joe, six pips. Emergency tapes connected. I know it is. Any second, Joe. No, you tell me to wait for six pips. I'm waiting for them. <laughs> how many? How many did he have? Oh. We're just. Oh, I thought that was three. Three, three, three actually. Three. Okay. Go and feed drip. Uh, drip feed me some more. Pip. That's four. Pip. Anyone else? Pip. Oh, okay. That's five. One more? Do you need? Uh, today's show is dedicated to our friend Andy Hosey that we went to see last night in the pub. He won't be listening. Uh, well, yeah, he might be listening he won't again. Be listening. He might be listening again. He's well, heard maybe. the show before. We're all having our drinks, and uh, he started to get to the point where people go, Do you want a drink? And he's going, Yeah. He's kind of getting mixed up because he's leaving a bit of his pint before starting on the next one mm. and all that. So my brother's there, and I turned around to talk to my brother uh, for about two minutes, and I turned back round again. Where's my pint? Where's my pint gone? And Andy has poured the rest of my pint into his <laughs> without thinking. So I've gone, Where, where's my drink? Who's taking my drink? Where's the drink? I went, someone's taking it. Who? Andy, it was you. Was it? Oh. And then just took a sip. I didn't care. <sighs> right, OK, so here's the news. It's uh, 19 minutes past eight. It's 20 past eight, right? Two pairs, uh, one pair of tickets to see you two this weekend has arrived in the studio, uh, addressed to the Chris Morrill Show. We don't know, they were, they were here yesterday, which leads me to believe they are the ones that I asked for. However, they could also be the ones for Dominic, because we've been talking all week about the fact that he's a huge, huge fan, hasn't yep. got any tickets, Sorry. and is de hello, and is desperate to go. However, I think if that was the case, and they were specifically for Dom, and I'm not being a, a, an idiot, I'm yeah. genuinely being this, they would have sent them today and gone... Look what we've got, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, they'd have done that. They didn't, they were sent yesterday, therefore I think, no offence, they're mine. I'll try and get you some and see, but th mm. these, these yeah. are mine. Now, the problem that we have is that, obviously we have one pair of tickets, we have two people that desperately want to go, we need to decide, and we, we decided beforehand, on the end of the news, that we would <laughs> battle it out, fair and square, yeah. whoever <clears throat> wins... Yeah. 
in this old quiz which I've found upstairs yeah. mm -hmm. goes. Right. Simple okay. as. Okay? Yeah. So, we begin. What is Bono's real name? Paul Houston. Is the right answer. Get in! <laughs> Bizarrely, I remember that because of a Frankie Goes to Hollywood song by where they say Van Houston. I remember hearing his name was put. It doesn't matter. But anyway. <clears throat> Dominic. Yeah. Your question. Which member of the band sang lead vocals on Van Diemen's Land? The Edge. Is the right answer? Yes! <laughs> Two each. <laughs> they need to be separated because only one person can go. Okay. Next question to Chris. When is Bono's birthday? Did you say this the other day? Yeah, I know it. Mm -hmm -hmm. Search your feelings. I think it's May. Can't help you. May 10th. Whatever. May the 10th. Don't tell me I'm right. Am I right? I'm not right, am I? You guessed that. Yeah. I'm, I'm th I'm, I'm, I know it's May. Incredibly. No. It is the right answer. Really? The hell bon did you get that? Bono, Bono's <laughs> birthday is indeed May the 10th. <laughs> Have you got text on? No. All so, off. Honestly. It's all off. <laughs> right. Good team, good team, good team, good team! Dominic. Mm. When is the Edge's birthday? Oh, God. I don't know. Oh! Oh! Um. Come to me, tickets. You two tickets are mine. Oh. I can taste them. Is it March sometime? March 24th. Final answer? Yeah. The wrong answer. Oh! The Edge's birthday, Dom, mm. is August the 8th, which means I was going to say that August the 8th. we agreed fair and square. Yeah! You, unfortunately, have lost, which means that the two tickets yeah! to go and see you two this Saturday at Twickenham in London go to Chris Moore. Come Thank on. Thank you very much, everybody. No. That's deeply, That's really deeply horrible. wrong. Hang on. Fair and square in a, in a YouTube contest, I won. You've got to give me that, right? No, you did. You did, to be fair. To Where be did you fair. pluck May the 10th from? I've no idea. I'm almost certain you said May. I, I don't think it was May, any, yeah. I don't think it was the 20 uh, of anything. I just thought, well, Give I'll him just... the tickets. No, the nice. tickets are mine, man. Get stuff. Why don't we do another question? Why don't we do, like, a double or quits? Not that there are four tickets, but... Okay, ask, ask the next question. I tell you what, how about this? Here's, here's how we'll sort this out. All right. All right, smart ass. Mm. Okay? If you get the, the, the next uh, answer right, yeah. you can have the tickets. If I get it right, I'm going to tear one of the tickets up. So you can't go anyway, <laughs> and I'll go on my own. Don't <laughs> tear it up, don't tear it up. How about that? I don't think I legally... Like apples. I don't think legally you're allowed to tear YouTube answer, tickets up. Well, whatever, go on. It's like stamps. Come on, you ask the next question. question. Ask, well, whatever the next the question The next one been. on the list was going to be, what was the title of YouTube's? Second album. Second album. I know, second I know. Album. October. Yeah, That's October. Right yeah. What's that? The right answer. Get mm. in. Hey, Dominic. There you go. Whoa! How about that? <laughs> there you go. There's your YouTube ticket. I'm going on my own. <laughs> you just actually ripped it up. <laughs> You're such a child. Well, you've just. Oi. You're such a child. What do you want me to do? Oh, what are you doing? That's the pair of them. <laughs> right? Now no one's going. Happy now. What are you doing? <laughs> You've lost your mind, man. I'm not having this. I'm you... not having a row with my friends that I work with that so I love. Sorry, Tom, Tom. You know I love you, but I'm not giving a row about it. It's childish. You've... Now nobody's going. You've just ripped up a pair of tickets to go and see you two yes. on a Saturday. Yes. You know how much I, you do know how much I wanted to go. <laughs> yeah. You do know yeah, it. I've told you. You know what? Now we're both back in the same boat because none of us are going. Get him. I'm not asking for any more. It's 8.28 on Radio Wood. I can't believe he did I that. I can't believe he did that. Well, believe it, it just happened.
Um, Kasabian and Radio 1 and Press Press, please. I'm very, very sorry, OK? I'm just being sent this off the air. I'm very, very sorry. I feel sick. Um, I, do, um, I just felt very pressured and threw a bit of a wobbler, and I'm very sorry. It was very childish, and I'm very sorry. Can we stick and, them uh, back together again or no, not? No, I don't think we can, because that's powerful. Amazing. The absolute hologram got torn as well, so... Sorry. Um, sorry. I feel actually a bit ashamed. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Really, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. I, re- I swear. I know. I know you really how, love how you too. How will you make that up to me? I don't. I don't know. I'll do. I'll. I'll. I'll get you a present. Okay. I'll so steal, you take I'll, for Twickenham would be brilliant. Yeah. Okay. I'll steal some um, something and give it to you. I'll nick you some stationery. Brilliant. Stationery would just yeah. make up for it. That'd be great. Really. Put your hand under the desk. Why? Have a feel around under the desk. Just have a feel around. What? Is there anything there? Nope. Have a look. Oh, yeah. What is it? What is it, Dom? It's an envelope. Really? Stationery? Don't, don't expect me to read the news after this. OK. <clears throat> What's in the envelope, Dom? Stationery. By the way, if my actor's guild card doesn't turn up today... <laughs> <laughs> what are you holding in your hand, Dom? <laughs> <laughs> It's two tickets to see the U2 at Twickenham. Uh, th- th- they're for you and your wife? Yeah. Yeah. So what... what You're free on Saturday, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Have you just given... Hey. Have I just torn up two photocopies of those tickets? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They weren't real at all. Those tickets have been sitting under the desk all morning, right in front of you. You wanted tickets. You've technically been still sat in front of them all day. Just turn the mic off a sec. <laughs> okay. okay. Back on down. Thanks very much. <laughs> and, and just in case, just in case you're worried, we've spoken to your wife and yeah. we've spoken to to lovely Finton, and, oh. and they both said that they're free and you can go and it's all fine and we've yeah. arranged. Did you speak to Nick? Yes. Yeah. When did you speak to Nick? Done. Just to make sure that you're the sitter organised for Saturday night. Done which, all by this the week. way, which, by the way, sorry, we've been telling your wife behind your back. You've got a babysitting book for Saturday because you're going to see you too on Saturday <laughs> night. <laughs> and guess what? I love you very guess what? much. What? I, I'm going to go with you. Yay! Are you coming too? Yeah. Have you got a pair of tickets? Every they were, they, they were the photocopies, weren't they? Good, that's fine. This actually looks more like a photocopy than the other lot. Yeah, don't say that. Do you, do you know when I gave the, the <laughs> tickets to hold, Dom, yeah. uh, Dave almost had a heart attack because he went, he's going to see that they're, they're colour photocopies, but they, he didn't. I didn't know, not at all. I was just there thinking the golden rule in having fake tickets is not to put them in the hand yeah. of the recipient. Yeah. I thought they were the real ones. You should all get Oscars. Rachel, that was brilliant. Thank you. I, I personally, um, I really liked Rachel's face. <laughs> I thought her acting was superb. Time for the news. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. from the beginning... Um, the news may be shaky, I'll just warn you. We've been planning this for uh, uh, about a week, and uh, everything was orchestrated, from Alan walking in to the label on the envelope has all been planned. Um, your tickets are for you to enjoy on Saturday <laughs> to see your favourite band, you 2 I'm genuinely very moved. Thank you very much indeed. No worries. <laughs> Um, we, we've had so many text messages, you wouldn't believe, right? Every time the computer screen refreshes, there are 50 text messages on the page, right? right? And then you click to the next page, whatever. All 50, all 50, right, during the news said, I'm sorry, Chris, I take it back. Which means that the, all the text messages before that were going, Miles, you're a... Mm. You're a... Uh, you're a... Which my, is what they were. My favourite one of all, though, slightly bucks the trend. Yeah. And it reads, and by the way, one of the vowels in one of the words is incorrect. But it just reads, <laughs> tell the bull twit to grow up and get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. The bull twit's very happy. So, basically, um, you're going to see you too on Saturday night. Yeah. That was the strangest moment I have ever experienced when you ripped up a pair of perfectly good, or I thought were perfectly good, U2 tickets. So I was what, seriously thinking about putting them back together again, but you said you, you ripped up the hologram so we couldn't do it. Yeah, I know. What does that mean? <laughs> um, the hologram, incidentally. <laughs> no. T- I know. Can I say this no, or not? No, okay, no, right. no, no. Don't go, don't go anywhere near All right, no. okay. Um, we had, a, we had a, a few conversations about this. You would not believe the brainstorm on this idea. We were going to burn the tickets. I was going to set fire to them, but we thought it feels too set up. Then we we're going to shred them, okay? And then again, it feels too you need set up. Need to bring up, a shredder okay? in and be. Bear in mind, all of that from the moment Alan walked in was yeah. all set up. 
By the way, Davina texted in saying, mm. you have gone mad after I tried to get... I honestly right? thought you'd gone mad. And, I don't, and she hasn't sent another text since, so I don't know whether she's switched off. Because certain people might have switched off during the record, because they and not know that it was a joke. Mm. But anyway... I feel sick. I do still feel sick, actually. It's brilliant. Why did you think I was... The weird thing I is, don't know. That's you, actually I... stu- you actually took a step back and went... <gasps> and you put your hands to your face. I like couldn't believe you... In the Scooby-Doo cutter. Yeah. I looked at them. I mean, I'm, I'm not a you know expert on you know tickets or whatever forgeries, or whatever. It, it looked to me like a genuine ticket. By the way, so I tell you something else I was very proud of, and then we will stop going on about this. Yeah, go on. Do you know when we're doing the quiz, mm. and I'm standing with my hands like this mm. on the back of my head for yeah. some reason, right? Which I never stand like that. The whole purpose of that was so you knew or you thought that I wasn't in any way, shape, or form looking at all the answers to the YouTube questions. Have you got them? Yeah, of course, dude. How do you think I won? Seriously, May the tenth. <laughs> I can't believe you all fell for that. But I said I it like a May, week ago. Oh, I don't know. The Tenth, <laughs> Dominic's like this. Oh my God, he's got it right. Oh my God. The Chris Moyle Show, National Radio Six pips, Joe. Wait for six pips. How many pips do you want me to wait for now? 32. <laughs> All day tomorrow, win tickets to see Green Day. If you hear the words green, green! or day, Die! sent by a Radio 1 presenter at any time tomorrow, then call 08700 100 100 and you could win a pair of tickets to see the biggest punk rock band on the planet. Green Day. All day tomorrow. Keep listening for green, green! or day. Good morning. Morning. And welcome. The Chris welcome. Moyle Show, National Radio. What beautiful weather we're having this morning. We're going to sound through this morning's show. Yep. Like we're talking to foreigners. Because... Every word that we say has to be thought carefully so as not to include the banned words, which, of course, are and... Actually, I can help you out with that if you really want me to. Can you? Yeah. Just say that again. OK, so we have to be very careful what we say so as not to include in our sentences the word... Green! Or... Die! You see? So we have someone shouting it on tape. As long as we don't say it, it's fine. But if we do say it... Green! Die! It triggers an alarm. Rachel can say it, I Alan can, say... can say it, Dominic and Carrie can say it, Chris Moyles and Comedy Dave cannot say the words... Green! Or... Die! Look, they're phoning in already. Why? Because they're thick. I'm just explaining the rules. This, by the way, isn't me or Dave. Green! Die! OK. So if, so if Dave needs to tell a story uh, and say, um, later on to... Die! I'm going to be going mm. to, uh, whatever. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. OK. Um, we just can't say the words. If we do, an alarm goes you off. You can say yes, sir, and I can play the thing, so... OK. Yes, sir. Die! All my troubles seem so far away. Right, OK. So as long as I hit the right one, if, cause try it again. Otherwise it'd be like, yes, sir. Green! It doesn't work, does it? That's ridiculous. <laughs> So when you hear us say either that word or the other word, mm. uh, ring up, you could get some tickets to see uh, that band. It's really confused, isn't it? But, you know, we're doing it all morning. The Chris Moyle Show, National Radio. 6.57. It's going to be a great show. <laughs> this morning, this morning, this morning. It's going to be a great show this morning. There you go. <laughs> and all morning. Yeah. It's this word I'm worried about. Die! That's yeah. the one. The great... Oh. No, wh- <laughs> Hang on. 
on, hang on, well, hang on, hang on. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I didn't, didn't finish the word. The N on the end of it. It's, I it's said, wrong. "Greet." Do you know what though? If you were in your car and going, you're about to go through a tunnel, and you heard you say, "Greet," you can check the tape if you want. I said, "Gris," which is French for grey. Uh, right. Okay. I will rewind the tape. Mm. And find out what you said. I'm rubbish at this. <laughs> seven minutes past seven. <laughs> I can't believe it. And I said it in. Congratulations. No. Are you ready? <laughs> now yeah. let's let's please review the tape. Play the tape. It's this word I'm worried about. Die. That's yeah. what. The great. We'll I'll let you off. What? No, it's not a let off. No, I never listen, said it. At the end of the day, it's. Oh, hey, there you go. Oh, no! <laughs> Say, oh. I swear on my life, and we weren't even <laughs> recording. Can I just say, this is not a joke, right? Oh. This is very, 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 very hard. <laughs> we thought this would be very, very, very easy. It's nine minutes past seven. I've almost said something once. Dave's <laughs> almost said something once. Dave has now said a word. He just said the word at the end. Dave! <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't know, Dave. It's a particularly at great the end day. of the day. At the end of the day. Oh wait, seven hundred, one hundred, one hundred. Today is rain. You just said it. You just said it. You said it. You said it. You said it. Just play a record. I resign. Dom, you take it over. For the rest of the show, I'm going home. Right, ten past seven, two pairs to give away already. We'll be all over by eight o'clock. And A stop lot. texting in saying that I'm saying it when I say Dave's name. It's Dave, short for David. It's D-A-V-E. Somebody said on the text... Everybody's saying it. They said that actually that my name sounds too much like one of those prohibited words and therefore for the rest of the show, yep. you should call me Jeff. <laughs> Morning all. The phone number is this, 08700 100 100, 08700 100 100. If you want to be on Rob DJ's bonus pop quiz, you call that number. You do not call the number if you go, Oh, you just said one of the words, you just said one of the words, you just said one of the words. Because I didn't. Listen. Hey, boys and girls, we've got an added bonus Rob DJ pop quiz for this morning. Today? Yeah. It's that was you, correct? Correct. Yeah. Not us. Not me. <laughs> Swivel. Are you two more comfortable yet? No, this? not at all. Really? No. I'm relaxing. I am more. relaxing. More, more. Yes. Ask, ask me to read out the uh, the uh, web address for the money campaign. Not a problem. Okay, can you, re can you read that out for us, please? Yes, I can. Mm. www.bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one. Click on One Life. See, those things... Yes. Or you could say something like, call now 08700 100 100 for Rob DJ's bonus quiz. Easy. Nice. Yeah, it's fine. That's they're, the phone number. They're all easy. So as long as you're giving out information... For the nation. Then you're fine. Yeah. Um, OK, was it yesterday? Yeah. Oh, balls! Oh. Rubbish. I'm really, 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 really sorry. Rubbish. I can't believe that I said it after I've just said how I'm not saying it. <laughs> well, good luck getting through. <laughs> anyway, move on. It's Rob DJ's Monday Night Pop Quiz. Bonus. Only on Radio 1. Bonus pop quiz today. Harry. Why are people phoning up, by the way? Because they stupidly think that we may have said one of the two prohibited words in the last link. It's always when Dominic says it. Mm. People but think it is, it's me or you. It is Green Day Day today. Al, Al, see, Carrie can say it. Alan, why are you shaking your head? They think I said it. Be we never before, said Before the start of the pop quiz. What are you doing? Making a phone call. Why? Hello? 
Perks, you are absolutely correct. See? There you go. <laughs> you have a pair of tickets to go and see Yellow Morning. Congratulations! Sweet, nice one, love. No worries. Um, well, you were right. Uh, we checked the tape, and uh, and you were one of the first, uh, first people to text in. We chose you at random. You got them. You're going to see Yellow Morning. Have okay. fun. Have, have, have fun. I will do. I'm going home. One line. Blue Cantrell, Sean, Sean, Sean DePaul. You've got the album at home, haven't you? Sean Paul's album. Mm. <laughs> I don't know why. You're into your Sean Paul it was, flavors. It was one of, I hate that kind of music. I've got to be honest, but do you know what? I just quite like the album. But, um, I went out one day and I bought, I just went a bit mad and I bought like 12 albums or something. Oh, you haven't said it again, have you? I don't know. Oh, they were phoning him before. Many people just said that I said it. <laughs> That's 4-1 you've yeah, done Yeah, now. all right. Um, Will Kinder, hi. Morning. Why do I hate you? Because it's my game. Mm. Well, it's our game. It's, uh, I'll take joint responsibility with, him with me, Piers hello, and Chris. Hello, 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 what? It's been what? a while. Uh, no, me, Chris and Piers come out with this in the pub. We decided that you're a bunch of architects. <laughs> also, um, I can't say why you've popped in to the show, but you can. Okay. Why can't you? Because the word's day. Oh, OK. Yeah. It's I my, can say it. Right, it's my last day on the Chris Moore show for a while. It's your last shift, we could say. Yeah, last yes, shift. My last yeah. shift with us. It is. Do you like my subtle posters, by the way? What? Do you like my subtle Darren Brown-style posters? They really, really don't help. Explain to everybody what you have done. Basically, from the route right from the front door of Radio 1, all the way through the office, down the stairs, through the basement, into the studios, around all the studios, I've put large green and day posters. There's it's green day posters, there's don't say green, don't say day posters, everywhere. And, of course, the colouring of the letters is, is green, that yellowy-blue colour. Green. It really, really doesn't help. I'm an idiot. What? You... Are you an American idiot? You be the word that, mm. you, that you've been saying. I be what? You... Just... When I, when I do that... Yeah. Say that word. Say the first word. Say... What are you saying? Day. Right. And will you say the other word? Green. Right. So you're on that hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. Good. Uh, so to... Day. We're giving away... Green. Day. Tickets uh, to see them in Milton Keynes. All... Day. To... Day. If you hear a Radio 1 DJ say either... Green. ...or... Day. ...then uh, call up and you can win tickets to see... Green. Day. <laughs> Timing, Dom. Come on, man. I'm waving my arms around like an idiot. <laughs> you, can you... Win a, you can win a pair of tickets to see... Carrie. Green. You're leaving me hanging. Green. Don't read the text. Green. Day. I didn't do it. I know, but that's what it is, though, isn't it? You can win a pair of tickets to see... Green, Day. Green. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's even hard for us, Carrie. I know. Okay, I want you to swap the words now for uh, you're going to be idiot and you're going to be total, okay? okay. Uh, because uh, you two seem like a pair of... Total. Idiots. Thank you. <laughs> you're there flapping your arms like you're bringing planes in. <laughs> Please welcome on line one, it's contestant number one. Contestant number one, what's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Chris, I'm Rachel and I'm from Derby. Yay! Where are you going now? I'm going to go pick up Billy's birthday cake. When is it Billy's birthday? Tomorrow. Oh! You even paused. I even paused oh, because, yeah. and I'm, I'm thinking in my head. No, I can say it because it's not the word tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry. It's not your fault, Rachel. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, ready then, uh, Rach. Which one? That that one. Yeah. So I like the fact you might say. Oh, I say. What are you, you going to say? I haven't rung him yet. Line two. No one there. <laughs> 
Hello, Sandra speaking. Hi, Sandra. How are you this morning? <gasps> Thank you. We haven't done anything yet. Well, uh, Sandra, congratulations. You've just won a pair of tickets to see. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Pure hell waits for Wiley. Have a good whatever. <laughs> Oh, by the way, it's Will's last day. Shift <laughs> two day. So thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you, Will. Uh, good luck at Virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Pure hell awaits Wiley. I have never looked forward to a show less than this morning. Radio was most pumped. All day today. Win tickets to see Green Day. If you hear the words green, green. or day, green. sent by a Radio 1 presenter at any time today. Call 08700 100 100 and you could win a pair of tickets to see the biggest pumped rock band on the planet. Green Day. All day today. Keep listening for green, green. or day. Green. You've been at Milton Keynes Bowl? Yes, once, to see Eminem last year. I like that little venue, actually. I think, I think it's quite smart. I used to live in Milton Keynes, but I like that venue. I think it's decent. Because you can sit on, on the little slopey hill and, yeah. and see. The only thing is, and I don't know if this is still the case, but when I, I've been to a few gigs there, but not for a long, long time, and people start fires, and what happens is the safety people go around and go, Reese, you can't have a fire, I'm afraid you can't. So they go, we're going to have to put it out. <laughs> Meanwhile, somebody else starts a fire on the other side, so they go, thanks. They go all the way over to the other side, sorry, you need to put your fire out. Meanwhile, they're doing that. Someone else goes, oh, they've lit a fire, a fire over there, we'll, we'll light a fire. And these poor guys just run back and forth and go, no, you can't have a fire. It's, it's, it's self, uh, self and hasty. It's health and safety. <laughs> and then they do, they're knackered by the end of it. And then they go, once all the fires are out, it's like they, they turn on and go, right, let's enjoy the gig. Thank you very much, good night. Oh, balls. Ah, the old basement jock there. You don't know me. If you don't know me, I'll tell. Got the controls. Wiggy, wiggy. Let's get cheeky. Oh, no basement jacks. Oh, the old, old fat little jack. Don't live in the basement, though. This is Wonders the Street. The old stinking of the old booze. Oh, crackers. Yeah. Mm. Well, as I live, partial to the old jam myself. Got a bit. How are you only old toast? Muffins. There's nothing like a bit of muffin in the morning. Mm. They're all sticky fingers. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna move on now. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> oh. Play a jungle. Uh, number two in the UK chart. And it cli it, here's the thing. It's climbing the chart. Songs don't climb the chart anymore. Whenever they go in, pretty much in the first week of release, that's as, that's as good as it gets. But this song for the last few weeks has been climbing up the chart. From number six last week to number two this week, this is James Blunt. trying to like it everybody i really am it probably takes a few lessons a lot of people saying it sounds like the theme to the incredible hulk well, they say the guitar at the beginning sounds like the theme yeah because do, do, do remember that used to be piano do you remember the the hulk uh, would go off mm. or david banner would go off mm. after he'd wrecked a village or town or whatever yeah. and he'd walk off in the rain hitchhiking do, do, do. incredible hulk music used to make me cry did it yeah as a kid you know the woman in Little House on the Prairie? She, oh. had, she had a man's name. Here we go. I'm sure oh, her name um, was like Steve no, or something. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, yes, yes, she was called Michael. 
which is odd because... Ah, 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 ah. I'm losing the will to live. And... No, 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 no. News jingle means we're moving on from really boring subjects. Okay. John, John okay. Wayne was also called Marion. There you go, beautiful. You've got Dr Hilary Jones. All right, stop. Seriously, stop now. Don't care. Leslie Grant. All right, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Okay? okay? No, no more boys who have girls' names. Okay? <laughs> Leave it. Big Daddy Shirley Crabtree. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, Target, Dominic. Well done. <laughs> Big Daddy. Days. Big Daddy's been dead about 15 years. Nice one. Sorry about that. <clears throat> News, time. News time. News <laughs> time. Cary Grant! Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's get right up to date with the hip, the hip of today's youth. <laughs> Cary Grant. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave. Oh, stop. Nobody gets to do serious news. OK. <clears throat> I've got some more names for you. Oh, have you? Men with girls' names. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Jodie Morris. Yes. Gene mm. Pitney. Yeah. You oh. also have Gene Hackman, of it's course, as men, well. Men with girls' names. Gene Wilder. Yeah. yeah. And someone's... Pa Anne Whittacom, right. of course, but that's a... <laughs> she's, she just, she's not a man. She's a woman. <laughs> really? <laughs> give, give over. Fact. Wow. How is Richard? Richard's poorly. Oh, he is poorly, isn't he? Is he poorly, poorly, or is he...? He is poorly. He's still in hospital. But Bless he him. is getting better, but very slowly. Right. So it'll be some time before he's uh, back on countdown. Bless so. him. Yeah, I know. I know. Last time I saw him, he was falling into a car outside BBC Television Centre with a plate of sandwiches. <laughs> He's usually falling Honestly. in or falling out of one, isn't he? He had a, big, he had a bouquet <laughs> of flowers and a plate of sandwiches on the go. He, he, he didn't know what to put in the boot. He, he stood there for about a minute going, um, um. There's only one Richard Whiteley. He's the most fantastic. And the, dri one. the driver stood there, obviously, but uncomfortable. He didn't know what to do. <laughs> and then he was going, up going, would you like a hand? So he went, yeah. So he took the flowers off him. He went, fine. And then the driver opens the back door, to which Richard just walks past him gets in the front passenger seat <laughs> yeah, with the sandwiches, trying to put his belt on without <laughs> spilling his free sandwiches. <laughs> right, so what are we doing now, then? Okay. It's quarter past seven in the morning. Should we have a drum roll for your surprise? Uh, I don't really have a drum oh, roll, okay. but I, I, can, I can give you a tension, uh, yeah. a bit of tension. That'd be nice. Okay. okay, all right, then. Oh. What the hell is that? I thought you might say that. Did you not see, um... It's the stag's head from the Big Brother secret room. And... What? <laughs> Attention all fellow deer. If you find deer feed in the middle of the forest, be a bit suspicious. <laughs> what, the, what the hell is this? Singing deer. I can't walk out. <laughs> Chris. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what? Um, okay, well, now... I think we should get Aled on the phone because it's his project. So, so that, that, what, a deer's head? Mm. Yeah. It was in that secret room where those three people were. What? Hello, studio. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? You see, if Justin Hello? speaks... Hello? Oh, oh that's oh, weird. No. That's, that's weird. Right. Oh, now you're busted, haven't you? Well, I'm... Big wheels keep on turning. Whoa, what? Even after they clobber a poor defenseless deer, but I'm not bitter. What? Ah, what I, lo the I love hell this. I love this song. Sweet Home Alabama, isn't it? Yeah, bring yes. it on, dear boy. This is good. Shush. Am I still asleep? Big wheels keep on turning. It's a singing stag. I'm starting to think that maybe somebody did spike our drink at Glastonbury. You couldn't go out with a Russian bird, could you? Why? Because everyone think you got off the net. So there were probably doesn't... lots of people married to Russian women who yeah, didn't the get net. them off... No, didn't get them off the internet. A lot of them I do know... meet on the internet, though, I... We, Me and Dave know somebody who got his wife mm -hmm. off of the internet. Yeah. Well, that's one person. Well, that, yeah, but... That's but... the whole, whole of Russia. All right, be honest. Out of all <laughs> your mates, how many of them go out with a Russian girl? Be none, honest. None of them. None of them. That's right, because none of your mates find their girlfriends off the internet. Yeah, or we don't live in Russia. That's, that's the other option. No, but the people in Russia don't get them off the internet. It's people outside of Russia. Yeah, they can go out and meet people mm, in bars. Right, right. But, you know, but well, it's, it's the Russian girls wanting a better life in places like Scarborough, mm. Huddersfield, Kipax, those kind of places. <laughs> Ruskychicks.com. You know? It's a whole world you're opening up for us here. I cannot cook or clean. I look like the back end of a bus and my English is rubbish, but please marry me. I love you. 
That's my Russian. That's brilliant. What? Bringing the world closer together. <laughs> Just from outside Amsterdam, that woman comes from. It's fantastic. But that's my, no, but I... I love you, it's very good to be here. Amsterdam, you must go to my country in Moscow. I love you. Let's do it. Let's do a poll now on the text messages. Okay. Uh, Are you married to a Russian? <laughs> Who you met on the internet? Yeah. Did you find your missus off the internet? Is she Russian? Oh. Hey, more than you think. A double one double nine, and start your message with the word Rusky. <laughs> Go. Now, look, there's loads of text messages to it in. My dad married a Lithuanian from Susanna. So yeah. now, look. part of the former Soviet Union. Yeah, there you go. I have some uh, information about uh, Russian brides, if anybody's interested. Hang on. Let me just play some appropriate music. And, um, That's Greek. <laughs> I know, but I don't have any Russian music. No, oh, that'll do. So here's what I found, what Dave's found, by the way, and, and I stress this, Dave, 8.37, by the way, Dave is the one who went on the internet to, to try and find information about Russian brides. Her name was Natalia 37V64, which is, again, these Not Russian women have bizarre surnames. Age, 30. Height, 5'5". Five five. Language ability, E4. So Second Chance Sunday and yeah. all that. <laughs> Children, NM. Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, mister. Per right, and this is uh, Natalie. Uh, Natalia. Personal information about Natalia. And I read and I quote, I am good look and have a deep soul. I don't have bad habits. I don't smoke and drink alcoholic beverages. I am pretty, kind, honest, caring, romantic young lady. I am ready to help in difficult situations. I like holidays, romantic parties with candles. <laughs> I love children and dream of home cozines. I am fond of watching TV set. I am able to work on and on the computer, and it's a kind of my hobby. I hold a healthy and active way of life. I am fond of reading different styles of literature. Are you interested, Dom, so far? I'm interested in the on and on, uh, Natalie, on, on, and on the computer. I, I, am, I am able to work on and on the computer. I like that. Natalie's wishes for a partner. I would like to meet a person with whom I'll be delighted to create a good gamily and be happy in our cosy home. I wish you were kind, friendly and reliable. His age, 30 to 50. <laughs> so hey? she ain't biggie to 30 to 50. That's a broad range there. Do you know what I mean? 30 to 50. <laughs> that, that ranges from, from Dave's age to the Andy Parfit, the boss. Welcome on line one. Mm -hmm. It's contestant number one. Contestant number one, what's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Chris. My name's Darren and I'm from Grimsby. Yay! Grimsby! I have a friend who lives there. <laughs> what's her name, Roy? Ben. Who? Ben. Ben? Ben. Ben who? Dover. Ah, good one. Hey, that was brilliant. I yeah, laugh at someone's though. name. That's well, not very nice. Yeah, mm. that was just <laughs> lovely. That's just wrong. Well, you said it anyway. And on line two, it's contestant number two. Contestant number two, what's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Chris. I'm Adam and I'm from Basingstoke. Yay! I have a friend who lives there. You really roy, is that? Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Dover? No! <laughs> no! Ginger Dover doesn't work, Roy! No? No, it doesn't. Right. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, right. Brilliant. What's the real name? Huh? What's the real name? What's the real name? Ginger. Ginger who? Dover? It's not Ginger no. Dover, is it? <laughs> it's something rude, isn't it, Roy? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bush. No! <laughs> okay. Let's just... No, dear. Seriously. Oh, come on. I know. <laughs> It's just, it's just funny, isn't it? That's just weird. <laughs> Ginger. Dover. No, again. Uh. <laughs> does it? Ben. Bush. <laughs> <laughs> ben Bush doesn't work, Roy. No. No, it doesn't. Sorry. All right, okay. We're on a canal boat, everybody. Hooray. Hey. Right, so, uh, for the anorex amongst you who are just waking up, you, you may have gone... I noticed there that Chris played three songs out of the news. Normally, he plays two. And the reason... I sound a bit Eugene in there from Big Brother. But no, the reason for that is um, we, we had to go over uh, through the locks. We're beeping. Are we on fire? 
No? Fine. Um, and we have to go through certain locks, obviously, because we're on a canal, uh, on a canal boat. And um, when we do that, we lose reception. So uh, <laughs> we're kind of stranded. So it, it might happen at certain points through the, uh, through the show. We, Dave and I have recorded what we call emergency links. So that's all fine, isn't it? Yeah, all, all good. So if you hear us suddenly go, ha-ha, there's emergency link number one, then you know what's going on. Um, Alad is half in his sailor outfit uh, that he was wearing yesterday. Um, you look lovely. Thank you very much. Okay. I haven't got the shorts on because I haven't got any pockets, so I need pockets. So I'm going to keep the jeans. Okay, you, Is that keep, right? you keep your jeans. Half the sailor. Right, I'm going to jump off the boat and come and join Dave, who's still on the bank. We're just mooring it up now, I believe that's the technical term. Can I ask a question? Wh why are we on a blooming boat? Is no, it a Friday? Um, Uncle Ferg is at the back with his hand on the tiller. Ferg, are we, are we coming in or out here? Because I'm at the front holding it and you're moving the boat. Yeah. Are we in or out? I know, we're going to be going in a minute. We're just trying to keep the batteries So you want me to up. hang on to the front, yeah? Just at the moment, okay. then we'll be on. God. Seriously. So Scott Mills went to Magaluf. Yep. We're on a canal boat. Hey, but listen, the good news is we've just done our first lock all by ourselves. I don't know if I'd say that was good news, you know. Well, uh, yeah, we are in a narrow boat. We've got more sound effects, by the way. You'd be all pleased to hear, yeah. yeah. Want to hear some? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a foghorn. Foghorn two. Dog. Foghorn three. Dog. Little horn. This, by the way, is all uh, to do with Radio 1's Summer Friday thing, uh, which is, um, it's a brilliant idea, right? It's just to make Fridays, like, fun, mm. okay? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, brilliant. It's also relating to our audience and yeah. doing things that they do, and in this instance, we're doing things that our listeners' grandparents do. <laughs> <laughs> Narrow boating is a sort of... It's a niche market. Hey, it's, it's not skateboarding, it's is not, it? It's not, is it? Scott Mills went to Magaluf, right, on the on the, on the the drink, mm. right? We got on a canal boat at 7 o'clock in the it's in morning. <laughs> uh, it's 9.28. Don't sing yet, James, right? My life is brand new. No, nope, don't sing yet. Too early. Too early, you did. Start you thought again. they might have re-recorded it, mm. didn't they? I feel so embarrassed. On the video, he goes like this. Oh, he wants to start here, doesn't he? No, he wants to start here. My life is brand new. My love is pure. I saw an angel of that I'm sure. Chris, um, I'm, I'm currently at the front of the boat, which I believe is called the bow. Um, and interesting that you should say about other boats, because we are now passing um, another narrow boat. Oh, really? Um, yes, which, which has flowers on the top. Uh, Carrie, you'll appreciate this, because we're admiring other people's barges uh, yesterday. And I can say we that, um, I don't know whether Dom and Carrie remember, but at mm. one point, uh, there was a fellow who went past and noticed our satellite dish on the top and asked what we were doing. Yes. And, and we, uh, rather stupidly, said that we were conducting a survey. <laughs> um, a survey into... Britain's inland waterways. That's right. Um, now, yeah. I have to, to speak fairly quietly because the man who we, who we gave that <laughs> information is currently no. to my starboard. Oh, oh my goodness. Guy. Get your clipboard out, Dave. Yeah. How funny is that? <laughs> but, shush, shush, we, we just need to get past this man because clearly we're not doing a waterway survey. Uh, we're doing the, uh, the, the radar on breakfast. Shush, 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 keep it quiet. I don't want to attract attention to ourselves. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, mate! <laughs> How are you? But, Carrie, I can say that, you know, we were doing... We're on Radio 1! <laughs> Come on, let's have it! By the way, have you noticed ever when his boat says puff on it? Yeah. Uh, no, I think... I think that's to, I think that's to make, eh? Uh, enjoy your day, my love. That's a rubbish one. Carrie, but... In, in... Carrie? Yes, you're still here. For, for, our, for, our, for our Rate My Barge feature, though, which we were oh, doing yeah. yesterday, which I think is, Scott's going to put the pictures on the website, mm -hmm. I would say that that's a contender for the top three. Oh, really? because of the flowers on the roof. Lovely. Photos online later on. We're live on a boat till 10 this morning. Seriously, Fergus, do we have any idea where we are? Yeah, we're heading towards King Sutton. And I can hear a train! What, what the hell? Are we seriously... Have we, oh, it sounds like, if I was in bed listening to this, I'd think they're just sitting there. They've got a new sound effects CD. It does sound like someone has run amok in the BBC sound effects unit, doesn't it? Am I, be, am I being an idiot? Where the hell is the train track? The lines over there. Oh, okay, okay. Right, okay, fine. Anyway, morning, if you just switched your radio on, um, we're on a canal boat. Um, just go with it. And um, it's Radio 1 Summer Friday thing, where every Friday somebody will do something stupid. I really hope next week that Joe White is live from a, you know, a skip or something <laughs> equally random. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? She's doing a feature on shop mobility or some, something <laughs> somewhere in Bista, maybe. Joe is... Joe... 
Joe you know, is Joe is doing a show live from a you know a bring and buy sale in you know in Northampton. Yeah. Um, so you know every week we're just going to do something uh, Friday-ish, and um, I don't think. I really think you should enjoy it. Tape it if you want, because uh, I don't think anyone will do it next year. Mm. I mean, it's just a hunch. I, I don't think know. this is possibly the first and last uh, show live from a waterway, but uh, enjoy it while you can. Scott Mills is laughing all the way to the bank after he went to uh, the Spanish islands last week, and uh, now we are literally... I mean, we have to stop the boat to do a link, <laughs> because we lose the signal. Like, if we were to keep going now... Oh, and by the way, any point during the show, if all of a sudden we just go up like that, it just goes... Just bear with it for about five, six seconds, because every time we go under a little bridge, the signal disappears. Now, just to explain how many little bridges there are, we've just passed bridge 176. <laughs> They're all numbered, um, and they are going in ascending order now, so uh, there is every chance of major dropout in our satellite signal. We are filming this, <laughs> right, and um, if you don't have broadband, get it. So you can see the video online. Dave, explain what we're currently about to do. Let me do this quickly because um, in, in a few seconds time we'll be right by him. But we're approaching our first lock uh, that we need to do while we're um, on the air. And uh, the, the lock keeper looks a bit like Captain Bird's <laughs> eye. <laughs> Only the best for the captain's table. <laughs> and we came around this little corner and I just laughed when I saw him. He's got a life jacket around his neck and this silly beard. And don't for, by, by the way, someone shouts from uh, N stands for no added uh, colouring. Up. <laughs> right, I'm going to get off then. Right, I'm going up the front to okay. uh, to do the front action. I right. am now off the boat, and uh, we're in King Sutton, uh, or heading into it anyway. And um, the lock keepers uh, kindly come out to help us through the lock and to negotiate it, as is their want. And what's 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 funny? Uh, <coughs> by the way, Alan, you are right. Am I staying here? Yes, yes, you are. I'm staying on the boat. Have mate. you been in the boat once? No. While it's done the lock? No. It's fascinating. It's scary. Is I it? keep describing it as you know in Star Wars when they get put into the kind of the garbage thing and the walls start coming in towards them. Yeah. It's a bit like that. Oh no. <laughs> Good luck, Alan. <laughs> so once we've got the video edited, uh, check it out online and uh, see. Oh, what fun you can have on the British Canal system. Right, let's do cricket. This is rubbish, this team, isn't it? Brilliant. I like this. I can do it better on my keyboard. This is that keyboard. I can, I can do it better than this. Power 2020 finals day this Saturday at the Oval. It's in London. We had two pairs of tickets for the event. After hours of brainstorming, we decided we'll give one pair of tickets away at 20 past and the other at 22. Do you like that? Mm. Right, so we need a, a noise to listen out for. You can't phone before the noise goes off because the noise will go off at exactly 20 past or 22, right? Mm -hmm. uh, any phone call that is lit up, any last flashing light on the phone board before that won't get answered. So here's one of the options. Good shot, Good shot, Barry. Barry. No, it's Barry. <laughs> See, we have Good these shot, sound effect Barry. CDs, and I always think they're really badly faked up. Doesn't that sound like someone leaning over the mic? Good. I'm going to melt this a bit. Good shot, Barry. <laughs> Good shot, Barry. Good shot, Barry. Good shot, Barry. Good shot, Barry. He sounds leather, doesn't he? <laughs> and there's Cricket at Moss 2. Papa! Popeye? Nicole! <laughs> Papa! <laughs> Papa! That's Papa. well bold. He's shouting well, well bold. It's Papa. It is. <laughs> you listen to that. Papa! Like I'm that. coming to get you! <laughs> Nicole! Papa! You need someone shouting owls ass! Oh That's dear. Oh, Let's see the rest of it. Hang on. They go on. Papa! <laughs> Good cricket. Good cricket. He's a fellow again in the background. <laughs> <laughs> He's still watching Barry. Yeah. Oh. So what do you want? Do you fancy? Is that uh, it? By the way, is that the choices? Yeah. Do you fancy Barry? Good job, Barry. Or do you fancy Nicole Papa? 
I think <laughs> I, I think we do one at 20 past and the other at 22 because I think they're both clips yeah. are good oh. enough yeah, to okay. stand alone. But we're not going to tell you which one at no. one time. Barry Papa mm. quiz. Yeah. <laughs> good shot, Barry. <laughs> 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 All right, so there you go. There's the two bits of uh, cricket atmos. When you hear that, the first one will go off in 10 minutes at 20 past 8. The next one at 22 9. It's Radio One Summer Friday thing. Summer Friday thing. Well, that's a bit shorter than I was expecting it to be. Oh. <laughs> I've had it. Sorry, I had a yeah. mouthful of bacon butter. Are we back on? Yes. I thought that was going to be a little bit longer. Mm. I've got to be honest with you. Let's what do we do now? Well, uh, we'll play it again. It's Radio One Summer Friday thing. Summer Friday thing. That's right. Normally they, they go a bit longer than mm. that, they're seven seconds. Let's rock. Where is the moment we need it the most? Who's on line one, Roy? Please welcome on line one. Yeah. It's contestant number one. Contestant number one, what's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Chris. My name's Richard. I'm from Wolverhampton. Hooray! I have a friend who lives there. D. Roy? Yes. And what's his name? Paul. Paul? Paul. Call what? My cock. Right. Do you, do you, do you, do you, <laughs> that's just wrong. Yeah, I know. Wrong dot com. <laughs> and on line two, it's contestant number two. Contestant number two, what's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Chris. I'm Kieran. I'm from Glasgow. Yay! Yay! I have a friend who lives there. Oh, really? Who? Ivor. Ivor who? Ivor. Mm. Ginger. Oh. Dover. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it. I'm a ginger Dover. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't do it. I was going to go. Ivor. Ginger. Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do it. Oh, you know him though, don't you, Kieran? Yes. Yeah, yeah OK. Well. Yeah. That's just wrong. I know that. He's a very good friend. <laughs> we are one a day here and a pizza. I thought that is outrageous. Have you heard that? Decade. They're, <laughs> no, they're talking about when I went there. <laughs> they're talking about when I went to Ibiza and Fergie's having a pop at me. We are one a day here and a pizza. Go online to bbc.co.uk slash radio one. Join us for Radio One, a day here and a pizza. <laughs> the music, the party, the full story. This Friday from six on Radio One. Brilliant. Let's choose the guys who say the word decade and make it sound like a say head. Of course. In this photo yeah. verse, there's two decades on the island. <laughs> We're well, back tomorrow morning. Sarah Cox is next all morning. Enjoy. Have a good day. We're back it when sometimes a listener will text in with something and you go, oh, no, I wish I hadn't read that. What? Chris, the beginning of this song, uh, many people are saying this as well, sounds like blah, 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 blah. And I've never heard it before and I've never noticed it before and now I have. And we play this so many times, Magic Numbers. It's not Climby Fisher and Love Changes Everything, is it? No, it's Only Fools and Horses. <laughs> It does a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's a bit uh, too yeah. fast. Stick your power in my pocket. Yeah. I'll fetch your suitcase from the lion. Because if... Do you know, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I was say, slow it down a bit, you're almost there. Rachel, are you now searching for the Only Fools and Horses theme? They might be in there. How many people live in America, Rachel, roughly? A lot. Yeah, I thanks. Loads, man. Loads. Like millions. Millions. Yeah. Hundred million? No. I haven't got a clue. Two hundred million? Is it that? Well, I don't know, actually. Maybe it is. What? You don't think it's 100 million? Yeah, it probably is 100 million, isn't it? How many people in the UK, Dave? Roughly. Fifth, roughly. 60 million. Yeah, 60 million. And they tune in, they hear this. Stick the podium in the pocket. Offer your suitcase from the van. But if you want. Well, by the way, there you go.
ruins it when they start singing, doesn't it? <laughs> well, not ruins the record. I wouldn't say that, Dave. What I mean is, it ruins our, our, our thing. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. One like. Radio One. Please welcome on line one, it's contestant number one. Contestant number one, what's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Chris, I'm Louisa and I'm from Fakestown. <laughs> I have a friend who lives there. Oh, yeah, what's his name? Ivor. Ivor who? Ivor. Ginger. Dover. <laughs> yeah, all oh, right, I don't think I know him. <laughs> no. No, I'm afraid I don't. <laughs> And on line two, it's contestant number two. Contestant number two, what's your name and where do you come from? I'm Chris, my dad, and I'm Melsner! Yay! Very nice. I have a friend who lives there. Really? Yes. Who's that then? Paul. Paul who? Paul, my bullocks. <laughs> <laughs> He's well known in the area. Oh, he's a very good friend of yours, Roy. Yes. Oh, I bet he is. <laughs> oh, dear. And on line two, uh -huh. it's contestant number two. Contestant number two, what's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Chris, my name's Emma and I'm from Bacon. Hey! I have a friend who lives there. Who's that, Roy? Paul. Paul who? Paul, Mike, Ginger, Bush, Dover, Harry, Ben, Bullocks. <laughs> you know him, don't you? Yeah, I know him. He's... Whereabouts does he live? Uh, whereabouts does he live? I'm too busy. I'm a legend. Right, he's coming by the Hello, hello. That mic doesn't work. There's a mic here, which means I can mix and talk at the same time. <laughs> Do you want me to have a little play and see what I can come up with? Have you, got, have you got any CDs? Yeah, man. I've got loads here, dude. Right, we'll stick something in. All right, then. Bring the beat back. Shut up now. <laughs> I don't think Pete Tong will be playing that. Oh, God. And that's and that is Tony's downfall, Rachel. He should be he should be mixing up this up with the fat ones. Mm. <laughs> fat boy fat. <laughs> Check that out! I'm some. I'm like. It's like Jai Fatty and the Master Mixes. Mm. <laughs> Fat Bunny. Yeah, all right, leave it. One life. Radio One. One life. Live it. What do you think, man? It wasn't the best mix. Yeah? Yeah. Basically, what I've done is I've found the Jive Bunny albums. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice, that's all right. Yeah. Okay, so what well, you start Mark, from... mark that point. I've Do you see that the, the... So go. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The great thing about Jive Bunny uh -huh. CDs was the fact that they were pre-mixed. Yeah. Oh, no. Right, leave that off well, yes, yeah, so you can just put them on and go for a fag out the back. Mm. So this um, note came from Tom Christian from Sheffield, who's at Southampton studying. He's done a remix of the... Well, it's he's called it the Trisha Remix, OK? Mm. Once again, the rules of a remix are, Dave... To either be mm -hmm. based upon the theme tune to right. said programme, or to include carefully selected clips mm. of the person in question, yeah. or, when you're really good, both together. Can't, before I play it, mm. if, you, if you don't have a copy of the theme tune, or you can't make it work, you know, beat mix it, yeah. could, could you just redo the theme tune on, on maybe like a little cheap keyboard? Okay. Would that work? Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Stay with us. My name, Trisha. I'm gonna have to send you off through opposite doors. I think that's a good idea, yeah? All right. Mm, good, strong My start. My name, Trisha. Tr -tr Trisha. Tr -tr -tr Trisha. Does he flirt with other men, do you think? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is 
drink a problem in all of this? Yes. One of them funny clips there is drink a problem. <laughs> it is with him and his oh, people. Alcoholics. Hilarious, of course. Drugs, drugs and alcohol. Drugs and alcohol. Brilliant. It's like Phoenix Nights yeah. remixed it. A lot of counselling. Nice mention of counselling there. Yeah. C- c- counselling. What does Charlie do that makes you think, oh, 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 oh. drop it? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this is unbelievable work. I can't say bull poo on television. <laughs> Funny clip there. Yeah. Which means we're bullshit. Why is he hoovering in the background? And I'm just thinking, oh. I wish I could sort of package up a little bit of you and say, look, look at this lady. This is the breakdown <laughs> bit. Yeah. This, this is the breakdown. Ah, Bring the beat okay. back. Or not. Mm. I think he's done this bit himself. He's definitely done it. I don't think this is the original theme. I didn't recognise this tune. Not don't this forget bit. to watch tomorrow's show. <laughs> that slowed down, definitely, isn't it? Yeah. What's tomorrow's show? What is that? What a load of rubbish. An absolute pile of something I can't say on the air. Tom, Tom, seriously. You know, work on it. Yeah. That's all I'd say. Keep up the good work. Wherever you are in the world. Uh, welcome to the show. namone has been on for the last few hours. God love her. Little cutie. Uh, we're talking about the fact that she uh, was really no feature today. Maths debate, mm. where it's a big debate about maths. I thought she pulled it off. Mm. She did pull it off. Yeah. Yep. It sounded great. Mm. I was saying because of that, we, can, we should come up with some of our own features. Dave? Hello. It's a new drapery feature yeah. for butchers. What's that? Someone's oh, oh okay. right. Okay. What's that? Um, ah. Chicken drapes. Curtain sausages. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Got you there. Mm-hmm. What, Carrie? I'm not saying anything. I'm sitting here offended. Why? Because I know what you're... I know the tree you're barking up. What's wrong with sausage drapes? Just <laughs> leave it and move on. I don't see anything wrong with sausage drapes. OK, stop now. Oi! What? You know what? Don't sit there all innocent, Dominic. Bird. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. he's going to be into that sort of thing. Exactly. Feature. And not, yeah, ve- ve- vegan curtains, if anything. Yeah. I think we need to move on now. Yeah, do you I think like sausage drapes? All right, that's lovely. Some music again. Let's play the music again. <laughs> <laughs> what a great lead story that would be. Yeah. yeah. I didn't use sausage drapes. <laughs> How would that go, Dave? How would that go? I like your news points. Dave. Stop it. Stop hitting me, Rachel. We spoke to Ham Curtains, who told us this. <laughs> Let's just move on, for God's sake. Chris Morning. National Radio 1. Good morning, campers. Good morning, uh, resort enjoyers. We're live from Butlins in Skegness. Keep it down because we really are in one of the apartments. Um, they're not chalets anymore. They're modern. They're very nice, actually. Do you want to open the door and shout? Yeah. Shout, good morning, guests. Is it guests? Yeah. Yes. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Hang on. Good morning, guests! Yeah. Right, brilliant. That's quite an echo. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There, there's, there's someone looking out the window. There's, there's, a, there's a, a, a woman looking out the window over there. Brilliant. Quite scared. Oh, look, no, straight ahead. Look, there's I a fellow there. I know, I know. Look, look, can you see? Look, look. Where, where, where? <laughs> see a fellow there, right opposite there. Look. He thinks he's all kicking off. Look, he's hanging out the window. Oh, no, there's a woman underneath. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened yesterday, then. Uh, we did the cold bucket water shower challenge thing. Invigorating thing. Alan's the only one who actually remembers what it was called. And this is a shower in a spa here at Skegness. And it's just, it's ice cold water in a bucket. And you pull a rope and the bucket tips over and you get it all in one go. It's very, very, very cold. Hello, my name is Dave and now it's time for my turn on the cold water splash. Here we go. No reaction at all. His face was... And he got booed. He got booed by the rest of us for not making any noise, for trying to be hard. So, are you ready for me? Yep. All right. Hello, I'm Chris Moyles. I'm first up on the cold bucket splash. In three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
I sound like Frank Bruno. Hey, you know what I mean? It's like this. <laughs> really cold. I'm that. Jocelyn. Hi, this is Joss, and this is a cool bucket splash. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you know, whatever floats your boat. Her little face, though. God love her. The bucket was bigger than her. I know. Her. Little tiny little elf thing. Uh, next, Dominic. I'm Dominic Byrne, and this is the bucket cold splash. By the way, he really didn't want to do this yesterday. He was really nervous. I'm Dominic Byrne, and this is the bucket cold splash. Cold bucket, three, two, one. Ah! That's all right. Now, <laughs> you'll notice that that ended quite abruptly. The reason being yeah. that actually um, Dominic's language was choice and certainly not <laughs> for broadcast on a family radio station. Okay. Hi, this is Alad, and this is the Cold Bucket Splash. <laughs> and it, honestly, that's genuine. That is a genuine reaction. I want to hear it again. Hi, this is Alad, and this is the Cold Bucket Splash. <laughs> it's the same noise as, as, as like somebody jumping off a bridge. Yeah. You know what they're doing? You yeah. know, the bungee. Yeah. Hi, this is Carrie, and this is the Cold Bucket Splash. Beautiful. And now Rachel. Rachel, by the way, we made her do it twice. Mm. Because, though, she... Because you moved out of the way. You got, like, a little drop on you and you jumped, so you missed half of it. So we made her do it again. Hi, I'm Rachel, and this is the cold bucket splash. <laughs> it's quite scary, that noise, I think. You know what's scary about it is, even though I know there's no swearing on it, you just expect her to swear. Yeah. She's got It's all built up for a swear word. Hi, I'm Rachel, and this is the cold bucket splash. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Love that. Let's get some news. Here's a minute past eight. Eminem is in hospital. And sorry, sorry, that's was, me. Was that you? That was me that time. Can I do it again? Yeah, we'll start again. Because I didn't have the microphone on. Right. <laughs> Just check it for me, Carrie. One, two, one, two. Perfect. That's lovely. All right. I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> it's two minutes past eight. Eminem is in hospital. And Thorpe says the Ashes could be heading home. BBC. Radio 1. News beat. OK, well, that's, that's the old news jingle for mm. a start. That's not good, is it? No. I will just say, while we're waiting for this uh, <laughs> little, uh, little interruption, it is absolutely hammering it down here now. I can't believe it. To the point of flooding. Yeah, it's all right, because the rest yeah, of it, we're, we're, we're inside. We're, we're literally mm. going to the skyline. We're mm. inside for the rest of the show. And all the people are waiting for us, so we've got to get on with the news. I can't believe you're still fluffing it. Unbelievable. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers playing one minute. It's three minutes past eight. Eminem is in hospital. And Thorpe says the Ashes could be heading home. Radio One. Just leave a little gap there. Right, have we got that on tape? I'm putting that into the Sony Radio Awards mm. for uh, the News and Talk yeah. Award. Mm. I think that could win, Dave. It was special, that bulletin, wasn't yeah. it? It's was great. It was, a, it was a beautiful mm. bulletin. <clears throat> what I particularly liked was the fact that if I'd, just ca if I'd have just ignored the fact that I forgot to put Carrie's mic on and mm. just carried on, then yeah. it would have been fine. But smart ass me tried to redo it, and then we all went wrong. And then we played the old news jingle from about two years ago. BBC. Radio 1. News beats. We haven't played that. And your no. face, well, you look as though you've gone into a time warp. <laughs> But we got it sorted. All the facts and information was there, and everyone who wants to know what's happening in the world of news and sport will be now mm. up to date. And then, I, and then I held a piece of paper for Dominic saying, need to add a little bit before yesterday's weather, because I couldn't find the jingle, <laughs> right? <laughs> sorry, sorry, talking. But I found the jingle. Yeah, you so didn't tell me that. You talked all over it. I didn't tell, tell Tom you. that you'd found it. So I'm sorry uh, about that. I've got it. It's all, but it's fine now. It's all good. But this is the fun that you have, you know, when you come to a resort like this. Mm. This was uh, Thursday night, a big karaoke night in Butlins in uh, Skagness. Aled singing uh, Abba Rest With. Show me the way to Abba Rest With. Every night I'm hawking my pillow. 
It's <laughs> probably like that. <laughs> got, let me explain. He, he wanted to do Show Me The Way To Aberystwyth, which is the parody that we did on Amarillo. However, he couldn't remember the words. So he goes, we, we were like, well, just sing, you know, what you remember. You'll come back. So he goes, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. So obviously, uh, Amarillo rhymes with pillow. So he swaps Amarillo for Aberystwyth. It doesn't work, because he still says pillow. Show me the way to Aberystwyth. Every night I'm walking my pillow. <laughs> Dreaming dreams of Aberystwyth. As we my leave awaits on me. There you go. By the way, it's not your radio. The quality on these tracks is awful. I know, that, that's, and that's just the singing. Yeah. <sighs> Let's get ready to rumble. Hard work this morning, that. Do you know, I was suddenly done with you, how long have we done that gag? That gag? <laughs> I don't know, because we wouldn't have started the show with it in the January. I don't know where that ever came from, actually. I don't. I can't remember. Pre-Portugal. Was it? Definitely, yeah. But I can't remember where, where it first started. But can I just make a point? And it's, it dawned on me when we did this the other day. What's that bit called? We, it's affectionately known as... Half-time. As, well, a ramble. Ramble. Right? But you never actually say ramble. You go, ramble! You never say oh, oh at the end of it. Do I not? No. Oh. No. He doesn't, does I suppose I don't. I never Rumble. really thought of it. Oh. 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 I think he needs a oh at the end of it. Ramble we've been doing since we started. No, we haven't. No, we, didn't no, we haven't. We didn't start with it. It's one of those things that just sort of um, just happened. Wow. Because we got to this point in the show and we decided that it felt a little bit like half time because it, we'd sort of done everything. And on line two, it's contestant number two. Contestant number two, what's your name and where do you come from? Hello, I'm Mark and I'm from Rufa Finjo. I have a friend who lives there. Oh, uh, what's his name, Roy? Ivor. Well, Ivor Novella. <laughs> no! Ivor. Ivor what? Ivor. Ginger. Bush. No. Ivor. <laughs> I'm trying to find one. That I haven't got anything that'll make top sense. Right. So his name... Well, no, it's the same one. So, what? Well, top right would be... Ivor. Ginger. Michelle. No, that's... <laughs> that's a word. Join us same time next time when we'll be playing another game of Car Park Catchphrase on Radio 1. Oh Say goodbye, Mr. Fish. Jay Pierce in the mix. He's waving. DJ of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jay Pierce, just remixing your uh, free tune there. He just skied off. Shameless. He skied in and he skied off again, didn't he? <laughs> Sunday night, then shed for me. Do you remember that? Do you remember we talked about that? Someone at Radio on Radio Hates Dave Pierce. He has trouble pronouncing his essays. He's on Sunday nights with Sheva with Dan Shantums. <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, right, that's that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, it's been a good show today, but we've got to go home, mm. everybody. Oh. Because you know the BBC are now, they're doing podcast trials. Right, for those of you who don't know, if you've got a little portable MP3 player, Apparently, I said an Apple Apple based MP3 player earlier. Well, Which it is. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, you well, could. I meant to say fruit, you know. Mm. Um, so they're, so they're trialing these little things, right? And you can download certain BBC radio shows onto your, your MP3 player. It's so hard to talk about this without saying bloody iPod. And there's a story that kind of, uh, comes out yesterday uh, saying that uh, Melvin Bragg's Radio 4 series, In Our Time, has beaten Chris Moyles to become the BBC's most popular podcast. So I'm reading this this article, right? I've got it in front of me. Okay. Uh, Melvin Bragg's Radio 4 series, In Our Time, has beaten Chris Moyles and the Today programme to become the BBC's most popular podcast. Right? Simon Nelson. Who's Simon Nelson? He's quoted on here. Where the hell is he? He's a top dog. These figures illustrate the public's appetite for radio on demand. We're delighted to offer new ways of... Bugger off, will you? Gee, I almost swore at you then. I almost went... 
<laughs> you imagine if I just did that. I, 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 I lost myself. I went, oh, just. I would have, I would have made us number one. <laughs> Chris Moyles is swear cast. Hello, and thanks for listening. <laughs> Chris Moyles Show. Anyway, download it and get us back to the top, please. National Radio 1. Oh. It's time to bring in Mr. Robbie Williams. Is he here? Yeah. Come, hey! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Williams. <laughs> Morning. Hi. Is that the showbiz thing, then? <laughs> that yes. Is it? Are we going to wash you in the showbiz way? Flash yes, that is the showbiz way. Is it? Yeah. Mm. This is lo lovely to see you all. Well, lovely to see you too. Uh, how long are you in? Is this a temporary room? This is the new and improved state of the art studio. One. Oh, is it really? Mm. Mm. This isn't the one that they're putting in temporary until the other one's finished. No, no this, this is, is it, man. Oh, it's lovely. You Very see nice. the state of the other studios here? They're crap. Should we play a game? Yeah. This, you'll love this. Go. Man, this is magic, right? Go on, then. All you need to play this game is a BBC internal phone yeah. and the BBC internal automated phone directory. Right. Okay? So you ring, uh, you dial the special number and a man... Right, he used to do voices for Steve Wright in the afternoon. He then says, "Good morning. Who would you like to speak to, or whatever?" And he say the name, and it connects you. Good morning. What name, please? Robbie Williams. Calling Robbie Williams. <laughs> Unless you say cancel. Cancel. Oh, oh there is a Robbie cancel. Williams. Cancel. Yeah. Oh, is this straight through to your home number? <laughs> <laughs> I play Coldplay now instead of Ponder Replay. Can I do that? Ponder Replay! Oh, do you want to do that? When do you want to do the Express 2, Rach? After Coldplay, the After new Coldplay. single is very good. It is very, very good. Have you heard that? You haven't heard anything new. Yet. I haven't. I haven't. Which one is it? Express 2, uh, the new it, single. No, which, what, how does that go? Yeah. Like that. Uh, Why don't you play it now? Play it first. Oh, go on. Oh, tell me what to do. Why don't you? Play Express 2 and then play Coldplay. There you go. All right. Very good. Really good. Here comes the cool air, the light, chill of the fall. And I will try to fix you. Fix you. You know the you know the one before that? Express two. Sound like the Wurzels. Oh man. It's really good though. Don't say that. It's uh, bombastic. Bring me fun up here. Got the chorus. The beginning bit, he doesn't. Right. Here comes the cool air, the light, chill of the fall. The funny thing was, because I said, I'm off the air. <clears throat> Rob goes, who's this? Who's this? Express 2. I thought it was Coldplay. I really <laughs> did think it was going to be Coldplay. As they sit around. How you doing? I'm Chris Martin. Yeah. I've been to America with my wife, Gwyneth Paltrow. The wind. Nothing will change me and my voice. <laughs> <laughs> my voice? Yeah. I'm supposed to cold, cold as the day wears on. Oh. I'm a little chorus, the future. Here we go. Time whistles. I will give you the key. Sing together in perfect harmony. I like it. No more, no yes. more time. There you go. Express two, give it. When you get what you want and not what you need. It nearly is partridge, isn't it? <laughs> Chris, Ma Chris Martin, who I think is amazing, obviously, in Coldplay. I've not been... But it is... When you get what you want, but no what you mean. <laughs> when you're trying so hard, but you don't succeed. Da -da 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 Lights will guide you home. John Culshaw text in. Did he really? Yeah. Can I just say to, 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 to John... Can you send me the one where I'm in it, because I haven't seen it yet, but I've been told about it and I've laughed. Yeah. With the women and the awards, I haven't seen that. It's 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 John as you. Will I, will I be upset? No. No. Okay. I don't cool. think so. Cool. It's John. It's a, a tight up of John as you, and it reveals him sitting in like a sauna with a, a big hot tub with loads of fit women, mm -hmm. and John's going, "I hate my life." And then it cuts to like picking up loads of awards, walking home with loads of awards, and all that. Right. Right. I hate my life. <laughs> and then it cuts to the word. He's walking down the street with a wheelbarrow for the money. <laughs> <laughs> I, hate my, I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not funny. Oh, dear. <laughs> no, I, my, 
<laughs> That's really funny. No one's told me that one. It's very good. Yeah, I've got to see that. It's very <laughs> good. <laughs> are you on this, by the way? What? The BBC internal... There are two of me. Are they? Mm. Brilliant. Good morning. Mm. What name, please? Dominic Byrne. Calling Dominic Byrne. Unless you say cancel. Now, which one will it go to? Hello? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're not going to answer, are you? I'm not going to answer now. Good morning, Newsbeat. Hi, can I speak to Dominic Byrne, please? Uh, hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> you meant to say he's a bit busy, love. He's on the air. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Just see if anybody in Newsbeat is actually <laughs> she, listening. She's asking for Dom. She's shouting. Hi, is that Chris? Yeah, hi, yeah. Hi, you're through to Maddie in the newsroom. Um, Dom's not up here. He, I, we thought he was downstairs still. Well, oh, yes, he is, yeah. He's sitting up sending me on the Thanks, Maddie, for thanks, that. Thanks for listening, Maddie. God love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Dom! Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone seeing Dom? Dom. <laughs> Good morning. What name, please? Chris Moyles. Calling Chris Moyles. Unless you say cancel. <laughs> Jocelyn answering Chris. <laughs> Hello, Newsbeat. <laughs> Chris Moyles. He said it in a very different way to he everyone else. DJ way. Calling Chris Moyles. Well, do you remember? He used to. It used to be Fergus Dudley. Yeah, they changed it now. Mm. Oh, really? Oh, Sound yeah. too effeminate. Yeah, oh. done a, they've done a serious one. But um, it's really good. You can you, you can put just two words together and see if it sounds like someone's name. Yeah. Did you come up with a word? Wax pigeon. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't what? Wax pigeon. Wax pigeon. That sounded very dangerous. Mm. No, I didn't, didn't good morning. What name, please? Wax pigeon. Calling Max Pearson. <laughs> <laughs> Wax Pigeon, Max Pearson. If you know Max for the rest of his life, you've got to call him Wax Pigeon. Good morning. What name, please? Fergus Dudley. Calling Bob Glaster. No. Unless you say That's not right. Cancel. Another name, please. Fergus Dudley. Calling Fergus Dudley. Hey, hey. Fergus Dudley. Still the same. Beautiful. It's our favourite. <laughs> Carrie, got a thing for you. It's to spot the difference. This was sent in by uh, Arash. Go on, then. Um, click on the link below and see if you can spot the difference. I've done it. It is amazing. How observant are you? Make sure you do this. Check this one out. It took me a while to... I was able to find two before I gave up. So have a very close look. The two pictures are identical to each other, bar three differences. All right? Okay. Now I want to see how astute you are at this. Shall I so, come around? Um, or I can... Yeah. Or can you Yeah, you can come around if you want. Come around if you want. Hang on. Okay. And uh, I'm going to click on it and you just see, you're going to have to kind of get in fairly close on it because it's a bit, okay, you ready? Yeah. Right, so I click on this and uh, the photo should appear. All right, there's the photo. Now, I was having a look at the boat. See if you can look. Or see if you can see any of the differences there. Is, it, is this have a joke look, thing? Look, no, have a look. Have a look at the boat. I... <laughs> <laughs> that was so obvious. <laughs> She's fallen to the floor. <laughs> that was so obvious. Carrie. Are you right? <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, though. It's a stupid thing. Ah, uh, you walked into oh. his trap. <laughs> oh. The tickle hey. trap. <laughs> no. Oh. No, it was there's a big scary face comes out the screen. You know, like the ghost thing, do you remember? Mm. Have you seen this bit of footage? You can see a ghost if you look really closely. But turn your speakers up, because you can definitely hear something. Mm. So you turn your speakers up. And about ten seconds in, it just goes, ah! like that. <laughs> see people diving across the office. Have you also noticed on the new text messaging system that, um, is that we now get, if people have been offensive, is offensive content hidden yeah. in, in relation to your, your DJing skills? Excellent. Yeah I've, yeah, I've noticed That's that. That's a new thing, isn't it? It never used to happen. Because before, people used to F and Jeff and everything on there, and it all came through. So does that mean if you write a rude text message? I presume so. You must filter out any any industrial language. OK, I'm going to do one, right? I'm going to write a rude one and see what it says. I love that noise. 
OK, so, uh, oh, no, I sent this to the wrong person. No, I'm joking, obviously. Right, so then we'll see if it, uh, if it comes through. <laughs> now, oh, um, you may why, have just... Why did I not see that coming, Dave? You may have just noticed that you sent an offensive text message to see if it gets filtered out and it comes up um, with offensive content hidden. However, we have now had, well, literally... Put it this way, we know what words it doesn't censor. Yes. Because everybody is now sent... Oh, mine's there. Mine isn't there. Oh, is it? Yeah, offensive content hidden. There's lo actually a few of them. If your number ends 59702, we couldn't see yours. 30129, couldn't see yours. 290064, couldn't see yours. 328638, couldn't see yours. However... Some of them do get through, and actually some of them... some of the Is this rude, Chris, you fatty? Play something decent. No, that comes through. That's all fine. Uh, the B word comes through. That other word mm -hmm. <laughs> comes through. Something head comes through. Yep. You silly baskets. Mm -hmm. That's you know that's not really swearing, is it? And uh, yeah, putting a dot between them also works. <laughs> Can I just say, by the way, thank you to my lovely listeners. I love you all for actually spending your own money to send in childish <laughs> swear words to us. <laughs> the weird thing is, though, as Rachel's going to point out. <laughs> Dave's still got his beret on. I think you should leave it on for the whole of the show, Dave. It quite suits you. It does. I told you, love, it's Barrett. It's Barrett <laughs> like Ferret. Barrett. <laughs> you look, um... <laughs> you look like a lord. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think? Yeah. Do you want our little French? Yeah. No, like one well, of those yeah. artists in residence. You know, when you look in this and we'll draw us later from your mind. <laughs> <laughs> this bearer is actually very well travelled because I once gave this to Rachel when she was going away to Paris for the weekend mm. so that she wouldn't look like a tourist. I think right. of the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Whoa. Did you, you think of the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> Pardon? All these revelations. Hey, what a weekend. Eight minutes past seven. It's too early. <laughs> took it up the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I really need to. Uh, <laughs> oh, blimey. <laughs> Don't be so rude. They charge for that, Dave. Yeah, I know. Pay, yeah. Well, is it not free? No, it's not. I thought if you just, I thought you could just, uh, you know, pay on admission. Yeah, I thought if you just wanted to go up, you could just, you know, you just jump in and off you go. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, oh, depends who you know. So we change the subject. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Chris Moyle Show. National Radio One. Right, it's time to bring in the legends that are Dick and Dom from Dick and Dom in the bungalow. Will you give them a big cheer, Dave? Or me? Yeah. I'm just like, finishing my toast. Here they are! Yeah. Way! Oh, 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 Yay! Yay! Oh, leave it. here they are, look! Uh, have we got any cans to put on here, anything? Yes. Cans? Wow. Cans. He's, <laughs> he knows the lingo. So technical. Hey. Headphones. 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 Babies. Hello? Hi. Are we actually on the radio? Is We're this on? just a rehearsal? We're on We're on. Right. Oh my god! Can right. I just say I'm really excited to be working with Dave? It's just like you know, I listen to him all the time. He sounds really funny and everything. Right. Wow. Well, Thank you is. very much. Which one of you would be the Dave of you two? Mm. What? What? You, what? Would, would it be, be you? The funnier one or the? No. Uh, would it be you? What do you mean no? Actually, you two look quite similar, mate. Yeah. 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 So, so, so I look, look at it, like I, your brothers or, or lovers. We could be cousins, couldn't we? See, I look at it like this: that 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 Dick. Hi. Hi. And myself. Where the talent. Now, you're just and upset, then, aren't you? Then, then look, John Chris, and stop Dave it, Chris. You're just stooges. upset because I've just come in and said I'm really excited to see Dave. Yeah. Well, he makes me chuckle. He does. He has my, um, belly. <laughs> Do you fancy him, mate? <laughs> oh, his, his microphone's broken now. Just, so, Dick, let's talk to you then about oh, yeah. the phenomenal yeah. success of your TV oh, show. Your right. leg and vibrate. Oh, hey. put my mic. Oh, is it back on? Yeah, you're on. Uh, hello. What game are we going to play then? Two word tango. Fabulous. Celebrity two word tango. Lovely. Do you know the rules of two word tango, Dave? Yes, I do. So um, we play the music, and every time there's a little gap, right? Yeah. For example, right? Mm -mm. On the mm -mm mm -mm bit, you say the name you of put a celebrity. A name in there. Yeah, but you can't repeat the celebrity. Can't repeat the name. Right. name. I'm with you. And the music gets faster and faster as it goes round. I think this is great. Yeah. It is a good game. Can't say character names either. It's got to be the real it, people. It's got to be real people. Play it down to pub. You can. Pub. What? You we can played play it in the pub before, haven't we? Have it's good yeah. playing in the pub. Yeah. The more points you have, the funnier it gets. You don't go to the pub, do you? What? No, of course no. we don't. No, no you can play it. You can. Oh, you can play it. One, one can. You can. Right. We don't. So we're in the bungalow drinking. Lemonade. So we're going to do um, Slim's two a tanker. Now. Yeah. Are you ready then? Yeah. All right. You're going to start, Mr. Dominic. All right. Bunch of flowers. Okay. Paul Daniels. Oh, that's me, didn't it? Uh, Kenneth Kendall. <laughs> Felicity Kendall. Uh, Ken Hom. Mm -hmm. Shane Ritchie. Christopher Biggins. 
Donald Trump. <laughs> Bernie Clifton. <laughs> Trevor McDonald. <laughs> Roger Federer. Eamon Holmes. Svenja and Erickson. Chris Evans. Maggie Philbin. Keith Chegwin. Wincy Willis. Rio Ferdinand. Chris Miles. <laughs> Debbie McGee. Simon Cadell. <laughs> Sad da da da. No. Hey! <laughs> You're out of there. Sad da 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 da. Yeah, you know, sad da 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 da. What happened, sad da da? No, I want to play again, Rach. Stuff the news. The news hey. can wait. Can it? Dominic, you're the newsman. Yeah, Don? stuff it. Can the news wait? No. Hey, I'm sure it can. Brilliant. I want to do it again. All right. I love it. All right. <laughs> Barbara Windsor. Mm? Derek Beatty. <laughs> Floella Benjamin. Uh. Ray Stubbs. Henry Kelly. Roy Walker. <laughs> Charles Hawtrey. Marty Kane. Nick Nolte. <laughs> Peter Purvis. Wincy Willis. Eric Estrada. Carol Smiley. Glenn Medeiros. Anthea Turner. Ted Danson. Giles Brandreth. Scatman John. <laughs> Peter Powell. <laughs> Charles Hawtrey. Oh! I've done that one! Oh, 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 oh. I've even written it down. Charles Hort. Oh. I've got to throw his Hort. Oh. I never read you. Yeah. You're out of there. I'm out. Thanks for coming in. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Oh, by the way, by the way, Dom Dominic, was this your card? It was! Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Here comes Dominic Bird, a very serious journalist and news broadcaster. On, Are you playing? Yeah. Look at you, you're like a child. It's a great game. It is a great game, isn't come it? Come on, come on. Do you want to do it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. David Hasselhoff. Adam Woodyat. Debbie McGee. Danny Glover. Annika Rice. Alicia Silverstone. Kofi Annan. <laughs> Toya Wilcox. David Beckham. Chris Moyles. I love that one, love that one. Shane Ritchie. Fred Talbot. Pam St. Clements. Elton Wellsby. Elton John. David Weir. Michael Fish. John Cicada. Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> Michael Vaughan. Johnny Vaughan. <laughs> Courtney Love. Alan Partridge. Oh, character name! I know, that's name. the character name. Ah, ah you're out oh. of it. You see? I was making a love child link. Well, that doesn't exist. Well, of course. Legal reasons. Move mm. on. Do you, to, do you want to do it again? One more, one more, one more game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I, I am. I'm loving it. I'm having such a good laugh today. Greg Proops. <laughs> <laughs> Annika Rice. Vanilla Ice. Kimmy Raikkonen. Daisy Donovan. Daisy Donovan. Bob Holness. Ted Rogers. Barry Gibb. Tony Hawks. Bamba Gascoigne. Tony Slattery. Jade Goody. Ray Cox. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Keith Chegwin. David Attenborough. Woody Harrison. Nicole Kidman. Ted Danson. Woody Allen. Sam Kane. Tom Hanks. Tom Cruise. <laughs> I've done that. Oh, Kevin Spacey. Yes! Oh, ho, ho. Oh. You're out of there. Rubbish. Oh, it's good, isn't it? You're getting really nervous. This is brilliant because whenever we don't have anything in the show again, we could just play this for hours. But that's the thing. I mean, I don't. I don't. If you've ever, I don't. If you've never, if you've ever had your car clamped, it's the weirdest thing in the world. Because what happens is you go out to get your car and it's not there. Now, in any well, of it's been lifted. In, the, in any other city in 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 the in the world, you naturally assume that your car's been stolen. But in London, the first thing you do is you ring the car pound. Yeah. I still think, though, technically, surely, when they remove your car, it's tantamount to theft. <laughs> well, it is, though, isn't it? No, I think you've got a point. How can they get away with taking my car and locking it up and going, you can't be back unless you give 200 quid? Mm. That's extortion. 
Do you know, it's kidnapping my car. And now, and now they want me to pay for the Olympics? I think it's only fair if I'm fucking out for it. They should put something at the end of my road, at least, you know. If I'm... Forking, forking out, out, forking out, out oh, right, yeah, yeah, for sorry. it. Yep. Dominic, that, you, know, you know me, I don't use bad language. No, you don't. I'm like, a, I'm like a, an Irish bishop. <laughs> so... Right, you know the podcast we do, it's like the best of the, the, best of the show. Yep. Um, I just want to clear some things up with people who are going, you know, listen to your podcast, it's not long enough, blah, 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 blah. And we, we have to keep it to about 20 minutes, because we're only trialling this podcast thing out, by the way, right? Hence, that's why we don't get any extra money for you, right? Um, so it's just a trial, and it's only about 20 minutes long. That's an excuse for only finding 20 minutes worth of best of material mm. from a week. And um, we're very proud that it's number one in the UK on the Apple-based MP3 music That store. one, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I just said Apple-based, didn't I? I keep doing that. Fruit-based. Fruit Fruit based. You might as well say iTunes, you're going to no, say Apple-based. Do you know what I mean? I keep doing that. <laughs> Download the uh, Best of Miles podcast from the um, Apple-based MP3. You said it again. Uh, fruit oh, Apple. God, I can't, I can't fruit say Fruit-based, not Apple-based. Yeah, but then Apple, I'm not saying iTunes, though. That's the thing. You yeah. say Apple, if I try, I'm trying to... No, I know I did then, but mm. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're going out of your way not to. Mm. Oh, look, what does it matter? Nike, Marlboro Lights, Ferrari, you know, Farrah trousers. Doesn't matter, mm. does it? I'm, Other trousers so, are available. Mm. It's all, as, as long as it's part of the editorial of the yeah. link. George Peppard Peppers, I love them. Yeah. Frank Editori, you know, pasta. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Or whatever it is. Have you seen that yet? No, does he do that? He's yeah. got, he's got his own range. food. Why range does a jockey bring out a <laughs> range of pasta? <laughs> is, it a, is it food or is it sauces? I can't work it. It's something like he's that, got, isn't it? It's pizzas as well. Has he? Yeah. It's like Paul Newman. He's, he's, he's got, got his sauces. salad dressing. Yeah. 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 Noel Edmonds burgers. They're selling them in budgeons. <laughs> or, or any other supermarket. Mm. Keith Chegwin lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the next thing. How many people do you reckon listen to the show at this time of the morning wearing pyjamas? I would say about 60%. Every day, every day when I come home from work, do you want a little insight into my life? I take my trousers off. Do you? Yeah. And you walk around in your underpants. I walk around in my underpants. Really? But the weird thing is, if I'm if if I'm not doing anything, no, and I'm I'm not paying attention, I go home and because it's quite warm in my mm. flat, even in the winter. So I came, I uh, kick my trainers off, I take my I take my jeans off, mm. and I kind of potter around the flat. And it's a bit worrying sometimes when you forget and the door goes and you answer the door and I'm wearing a shirt, a pair of boxer shorts and some. Socks. Well, you were like that the other day when we came out for that barbecue and you greeted us in just your underpants. And well, it almost looked like you're some kind of specialist do. Please welcome on line one. Yes. It's contestant number one. Contestant number one, what's your name and where do you come from? Hi, Chris. My name's John. I'm from Chidwell. Yay! Yay! Why, what do you do then, John? I'm a van driver. I just do a few deliveries. What are you delivering today? Uh, I'm just at Little Portland Cafe, Little Portland Street. Hello. Oh, some geese right next to me now. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell oh, it, just... my God, is this car my catchphrase? Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Sorry about this. Who's that idiot? Just say, get lost, you tourist. Get lost, you tourist. No. Oh, that Chris Miles? Hi, Chris Miles. Oh, Susie, are you... What's this? What's going on? Some geese have just jumped in my window. You're joking. He's in the... I'm about to shut the window now. Oh, my... See, are they... Are they honestly, they're trying to get the car? Yeah. Are they not get trying... They're not trying the handle, are they? I'm straight. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> John? Sorry. John? Hello. Are you all right? I'm all right. Yeah? He's going to get me. Where is he? He's just near my van there. Oh, oh OK. Oh, right. what's going on? Sorry, mate. Oh, mate, I'm sorry. Describe him. What does this person look like? Uh, he's got, a uh, like, blue long teeth, like, jump thing on with a white right. hoodie and a pair of Chav trainers. But mm. Are they quite Chavy trainers? Uh, straight from Chavsville, Arizona. Oh, mate, I'm <laughs> <you>. Blimey. <laughs> ask, ask him what his name is. What's your name, fella? Alan. Your name's Elliot. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Hello. The Alan went to find him because he's only around the corner. Oh, he pooed his pants, I tell you. He was so nervous. How are your chav trainers, Alan? Now, listen, Alan, do you want to stay with him or do you want to come back? You call me chav trainers, I'm coming back. Right, OK, all right. All right, bye, Alan. See you later. Right, OK. Right, you're on your own now, John. I am, Alan. All right, here we go. Horns at the ready. Fingers steady. Let's play Car Park Catch Riz. Say goodbye, Mr. Fish. He's waving. 
There you go, lovely. <laughs> oh, all the Adoraks will be pleased. I've got that try now. <laughs> I'll be on Miles World by half ten. Right, do you, want to hear, do you want to hear a great record from my record collection at home? Yes, please. All right, let's go. Woo! Um, Chris Hornsby. Chris Hornsby. Great, yeah. yeah. Love this record. This is just an example of some of the great musical treats you'll hear after 9 o'clock. Rather than play the way it is, the big hit, obviously. Yeah. I don't have it, though. Was this a less successful follow-up? Uh, this is the Valley Road, mate. Sometimes I lead, sometimes I follow. Yeah. Sometimes I lead. I can even wow. scrap. <laughs> you like that? This time I'm Is that not good enough? I, I must admit, I've never heard Bruce Hornsby in a scratching style before. Right. Do you another one? Yeah, <laughs> cut, it, cut it in with something else. Drop another fresh You got flavor. Bob Seger in the Silver Bullet Band. No, hang on. Hang on, let me mix it in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Wow. Hey? Everyone stop what. dancing hey. momentarily. <laughs> Judge Jules is crapping himself. That might be broken. Hang on. Oh, don't tell me that. Have you scratched it? Oh, no. This is what happens when you put the, um... So that's record turntable ch number two. Yeah. What's on number one? What flavour? Well, this is what happens when you put the needle on the record and the <laughs> things go like this. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, hang on, let me just... Open the fader. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> right, this is, this is the norm, right? This is the peak time this bit of the show, isn't it? Listen, yeah. listen. This is a big audience. Right, that's that. Yeah, we got that one. Yeah, and this is the other one. What happens when you put the other one on? Oh. Oh, that's not <laughs> healthy, is it's it? It's like a comedy sound effect. Yeah. Uh, this one, oh. Dave will love this one. This is the following year when I really started properly buying music. You know, spending all my money in it. I couldn't stop. I went, I went a bit eclectic. I used to buy uh, experimental music as well. So not only the hits like, you know, Starship. There was all... <laughs> not just dance what the music. Hell is this? Did you go to Morocco to buy this or no, something? This. This, Morocco came to him, Karen. This is from a, <laughs> this is a, this is a classical musical, this. It's, a, it's brilliant. This spawned a couple of uh, <laughs> chart hits, and uh, I, I do have both of them, but, you know, Dave loves this one. Oh, it's Murray Head. <laughs> yes. It's Murray Head. Bangkok, Orient. <laughs> 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 It's one night in Bangkok. Oh, oh my God. From Chess, <laughs> the musical. And you bought this. <laughs> <laughs> you actually paid good money. Uh, I'll, have, I'll have that one, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch the result. 81199. Have you bought any of these songs? No. 81199 on the text. Text no. <laughs> Start your message with no. no. <laughs> Murden's ringing again, he can't, can't get enough. <laughs> oh, no! Someone. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're really upset about that. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna to, I'm gonna to, I'm gonna to clean this. It's got oh. a couple of scratches on it. From being overplayed. Yeah, I would have thought so. Yeah. <laughs> Start like that. All right, Vernon, we've got the message. You know, we're on the tour bus. Yeah. Doing the Red Nose Rally, and occasionally we get like an hour to yeah. sleep or whatever. Or, you know, so all in the bunks. And just, just as Rachel's getting off to sleep. I'd be in my bunk with the curtains closed. I'd ring her phone. Mm hmm. Withheld number. So she, and she, the phone's always, so she's. Like, Hello? Because it could have been a chat, somebody donating a prize yeah. for the truck and stuff like that. At which point I'd stick my head through her curtains and go, well, through the. If you <laughs> <don't> <laughs> <laughs> through the bug, through the bug beds. Even Jocelyn laughed at that one. Look at her. Oh, do you know what we've got two? Hang on, we've got two possible trails today already. <laughs> I stuck my head through her curtains. Beautiful. <laughs> and as she's answering the phone, I go, "Hello." I go, "Waiting for a star to fall," and she wet herself laughing. And then I jump back into my bunk, <laughs> close my curtains, yeah. and then. You see, five and, minutes like you do it again. And now oh. you know that on the on the John O'Groats to Lands End rally, I stopped travelling you, with you from Inverness. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's why. That's why Rachel and I were going. You know, charity fundraising can be fun. <laughs> uh, the other week, we asked uh, our lovely listeners out there in Leicester Land, hello listeners, to come up with some uh, uh, names of features. Now, the idea was we go for a brainstorming at Dave's, which we did yesterday. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, myself, Dave, Rachel Allard, and Reese Hughes, our executive producer. We've done this before, and all we do is we ask the listeners to come up with the name of a feature, and people text in, and they did in their thousands. We'll do the work, we'll do the rest, just come up with the name of the feature, and then we'll come up with the mechanics of it. It's a lazy way of working, but actually it's very creative. That's the way I look at it. And I'm going to run through some of these now. Okay. Uh, if if Dominic and Carrie disagree, if you disagree, say no. That, you know, if you think there's something in it, yeah. you can put Tell it us. back into play. Okay. Whoops up, smack Dave's head. Now <laughs> I quite like that. Rachel one. and Alan are very keen on doing and this. And also, one. executive producer Reese yeah. is a big fan of this <laughs> one as well. It's time to play. Whoops up, smack Dave's head. Said whoops up, smack Dave's head. Thanks, Rachel. And then Carrie, give him a whack. <laughs> Thank you for the deal. Oh. No, a whack. Come on. Give him a whack. No. This, look, come on. Oh, Dom, you do it. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Does that smart a little it's bit? It's more Dave's forehead. I don't know how you feel now, Dom. Yeah. Well, people don't... Um, have you ever had one of those Daves? Uh, this is a feature for women. Where <laughs> <one's> right. <laughs> maybe you picked up some fellow in a club or a pub, yeah. and uh, he's called Dave, and, you know, he's just one of them. I like that one. That's good. The Bristol gaze, where we just stare at guests' jugs. The Bristol's gaze. You see that? Brilliant. It sounds like Olympic sport. Yeah. So you just be kind of... Yeah. Yep. Look at them. Mm. <laughs> to be done in Bristol. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Joss's Giants. Just a feature about tall people from yeah. Joss. <laughs> we thought we'd set that in the Netherlands or somewhere. Let's do it again, but I want to try and see if we can, if that, I wanted to see there to be a connection, right? Oh, no. Now, even if it's, you know. Well, hang on, this is a different game, though. This is rhyme or reason, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, but let's try it, okay? Oh. Let's try something simple. We'll get giddy. <laughs> Robbie Williams. Gary Barlow. Elton John. What? <laughs> they think they oh. wrote stuff together. What did when? they write? In the Lion King stuff, didn't they? To be what? fair, they, they both play the piano. Right. I thought they'd really Yeah, but you, you, you could then say, my mum, because she plays the piano. Yeah. Are we going to tell a story about Joel and the cab last night or not? The thing was that Joel had a bit of... Joel's on a different diet at the moment, right? Joel's on a different planet at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's on a no-carbs diet. Right. Okay? And basically, it, it's, it's having an effect on his um, wind. Do you know when you're in a cab with someone and you hear those immortal words... Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but the thing was, after the second... Dave, Dave's gone, sorry about what? And I've got him straight away, so I've hit the window. And Dave's about three seconds later, he's gone, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> But then after that, he stopped saying I'm sorry, and I would just be there. You know when you're conscious of somebody looking at, at you, sort of side on? Yeah. And he would just grin at me, <laughs> at which point, you were already, you're on the phone, you're already putting your window down, yeah. and I'm putting my window down, right? And then the driver started putting the window down as well. <laughs> Do you know what I learned yesterday what? while we're filling? What? I had no idea how expensive bras are. I thought a bra would cost you, I don't know, five, seven, ten pounds or something. Apparently girls spend a minimum of about 30 quid on a bra. Yeah, they're really expensive. Yeah, they can spend a hundred pounds. A decent pair of boxer shorts, you're looking at 16, 18 quid. Not for me. Well, right, fine, okay, yeah. Maybe your particular brand of boxer shorts, you can get ten for that much. I get like a pack of three. You know the Jeff Capes ones you get from Matalan. What? Sorry, Jeff Banks. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Gaves, oh, boxer shorts. I was going to say, Dave, you're a bit uh, overestimating there, well, aren't you? You know. <laughs> Still trying to show off, Dave. Hi, girls. <laughs> Jeff Capes. Anyway. God love her. <laughs> Carrie. Carrie Davis. Carrie. Carrie, 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 Carrie. Carrie, Carrie. Do you know, the more you say your name, mm. it sounds weird. Carrie, 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 Carrie. It's a nice name. Carrie. 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 Mm. <laughs> okay, we're just talking. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie. And it sounds the same, doesn't it? It all sounds weird. Carrie. No, 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 no! I know what that is. I got taken out of me for years for that song. I hate that band. They all smell. You're horrid. <laughs> <laughs> Own up. Uh, what? <laughs> Own up. Uh, Own up what? Which one of you was it? Ah, uh, Dave. <laughs> I tell you what, Rachel's got a face on because she looks jealous because there's not a song about her. Rachel! <laughs> oh, Rachel! <laughs> <laughs> 
That's great. I was going to say, that was the follow up to. <laughs> Leave it now. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like Champion the Wonder Horse, is not it? <laughs> Where's that from? Uh, Where's it from? Shall I tell you the story? So, hang on, does that, does that mean is now... This, is this your little project you were doing yesterday? Does that, you does that, does that mean now that when we do Hard Time, I have to go... <laughs> the Wonder oh. Horse! <laughs> Not that you are a horse. Oh, 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 oh. You can't speak. You can find a double <laughs> oh, that's... Isn't that lovely? <laughs> <laughs> we used to sing this my sister. Is this the is same nun? Yeah, name. yes it her is. second is name it? is Dominique. Yes. Oh, so we used to La Sir Yeah. Is it the singing nun? Yeah, it's a nun, nun who sings. <laughs> I've never heard a singing nun before. Mm, so. She's French. Have you, Rachel? No. Rachel! I did look. I, I, did, I, 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 I did, as you would predict, look for a Chris, a Dave, and an Alad. Yeah. And as yet, I haven't found anything. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>